All right, people of the internet, mic check, mic check, one, two, welcome in to another Retro Rack and Tour Live. We are getting ready to play, for the first time ever, Wonder Book, Book of Spells. If you're catching this later on the VOD, check the timestamps down below. That will allow you to jump forward, because everybody always likes to skip the intro for whatever reason. But if you don't, feel free to hang around. We do a little just chatting segment here in the beginning. Say hello to everyone in the chat. Catch up with what's going on in your lives. Giving you guys updates. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. And one other thing we're going to do today. Let's see if this works here. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to attempt to go live on both YouTube, where we are already, but also go live over on Twitch. So let me hit this start button. And let's see if this actually goes through and works. And then we'll say say hello to everyone in both chats. We got it, dude. Let's go, man. I think we're live over on YouTube. And, well, of course we're live on YouTube. But we're also live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Retro Tour, Guys, if you're not following us over there yet. This is a new thing that Twitch started allowing, I don't know, a couple months ago. And... I always, if you guys remember back when Hogwarts Legacy released, we had a lot of like back and forth about do we stream on Twitch, do we stream on YouTube, and then Hogwarts Legacy ended up doing the uh, the drops that they offered on Twitch. Yes! Uh, all right, this is good. This is good. We're going to do a little just chatting here to test everything out. Dylan with the 16 months in a row over on Twitch. So I, I purposefully made... The Twitch alert's different, so hopefully I will be able to detect when someone is subscribing over there versus over here. But no, I think this will be good. It was something that Twitch needed to do for a long time, and then it's just taken me this long to get it all set up. Uh, it would have been great if we had this when Hogwarts Legacy came out, because we could have streamed live on both platforms at the same time. But yeah... I mean, honestly, like, if I can get it working, I eventually would love to be streaming. I was uh, talking to James about this, expect to go, for those of you who don't don't know. YouTube has now added what they call vertical streaming. So, I don't watch a lot of shorts, but I know they're incredibly popular. TikTok's incredibly popular, so I know I've, I've posted a number of shorts because of that. But they also have what they're calling, like, vertical live streaming now. So people scrolling through YouTube shorts can actually stumble upon your live stream. Uh, but you have to, I wish they would find a way to better integrate it. Like I wish I could just go live on YouTube like we are right now normally and then just like check a button that says, would you like to go live vertical as well? Uh, but you can't do it that way. You have to like set up a separate, kind of like I've done with Twitch right here. Um, but eventually, man, like, could you imagine if we're like, we're live on Twitch, we're live on YouTube vertical, uh, even Twitter or X, if you call it that now, uh, has live streaming at this point. So it doesn't make sense to not just go live everywhere. But yeah, here's the game we're about to dive into. Welcome into the new follow. Actually, Abby, thank you so much. Welcome in. And I can see both chats. This is very nice. Elwin, get your geek on. I see you over there on twitch let's say hello to everyone on youtube we got cheyenne cheyenne was the first name i saw in the chat today we got Niels. we got dvd h i'll be lurking while i get ready wanted to pop in and say hello yeah good week so far and sorry about the little time change we had a little uh i, I had a mix up on my timing i had a a meeting that was originally scheduled for this morning well that meeting got pushed back and then i also have to get out early because my son has like a little uh what do you call those things conference <laughs> the little parent teacher conference we've got that this afternoon and then we got baseball again this afternoon so sorry about the little mix up on time i know i originally said later but hey if you're gonna it, i feel like it's always better to say a time and then be early instead of say a time and then be much later so Glad you guys are here and able to make it. Cancer on. Good morning. Excited for the live to start. Have a bit of a chat. Cancer on. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you're having a good week so far. 
Amy subscribing over on Twitch. Uh, Amy, that is eight months you've been subscribed over there on Twitch. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And looks like you guys have started a hype trade. See, there's so many different dynamics on on Twitch that YouTube needs to uh hopefully they'll get they'll get better. <laughs> but I feel like people have been waiting for a bit for them to add certain chat features and things. Moonspark, I see you over there on Twitch as well. If you guys are wondering what the heck is going on, we are currently live on YouTube and we're currently Oh wow. Oh, we got look at this. We got double alerts. We got Nearly Headless Nick with our YouTube alert, and then we <laughs> then we had the Metroid one with the uh, Twitch alert. That's why I set up two separate ones. And oh yeah, for the for the Twitch crowd, for those of you who watched us a lot on Twitch before, yes, channel points are disabled. Yes, sound <laughs> alerts are disabled. Maybe in time we'll bring those back. But here, starting out this first day, I'm like, okay, I'm disabling basically everything except. The alerts. Let me make sure I've got that working. Let me make sure my PC doesn't just fry from doing this. Waldemar subscribing over on Twitch. Uh, Waldemar, appreciate it, dude. Good to see you. I know you pop in on YouTube as well, but I always forget your name over there because I think it's different. Welcome to Gryffindor. Welcome in. Welcome in. Christian Gamer, how's everyone doing? If anyone's being affected by the huge storm of the Midwest, please stay safe. Dude, it's been a crazy, uh, like, month so far for storms here in the U.S. I think ours is supposed to, uh, arrive tomorrow. But we, we had a really rough one blow through last night that, like, wasn't even on the forecast, as far as I know. Had a little bit of hail in it, too. Abigail, welcome in. Early for once. Hey, I'm glad you made it, Abigail. Even with all the time, switcheroo. Appreciate it. Nico in the house. Dude, there is a name I haven't seen in a bit. Nico, ladies and gentlemen, the real life chief warlock. Nico, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. Appreciate all your support. So, yeah, guys, here, this game right over here. That's what we're about to dive into today. And if you saw my tweet from yesterday, I said we're going to attempt. <laughs> Because when I was setting this up, for those of you who don't know, Wonderbook Book of Spells right here was released in 2000. Let's see if we can get the actual. Uh, where is it here? It was in the PS3 era, obviously. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this, guys. It has trophies. Wait a second. Wait, <laughs> Wait a second. There's Alicia <laughs> Lovegood over on Twitch subscribing. And I think we had Anna subscribing over on Twitch as well. Oh, no. I saw Anna's name. Anna was looking for the hello there button. I'm sorry, Anna. Just just for... Let us, let us uh, slowly implement things back in. Mr. Keys in the Twitch chat, too. See, that's Mr. Keys, like... Dude, so good to hear from you, man. I was lurking in a couple of your Lord of the Rings streams the other night. But I do feel like there are, you know, there are some people out there who just, you know, they they go to Twitch for live streaming. And so they don't even, they just never pop over to YouTube for live streams. But um, that's why I think it's so good to be able to go live on both. Trisha with the sub over on Twitch as well. We got Gigi as a lobster in the chat over on YouTube. Welcome back, Gigi. Always good to see you. We got Noah in the house. Guys, if you're a YouTube member, if you're a YouTube channel member, make sure you check out our recent video uh, yesterday. We did a, a members-only video. Shout out to Noah and his jewelry company, Sparkling Journey. Noah sent us over a couple of items there. I'm not going to give it away here, but if you're a member, you'll have access to that video, and you'll be able to see... Keep an eye on an Instagram as well, at Retro Raconteur over on Instagram. Mrs. Raconteur is working on a few things there, but a uh, very generous gift sent over by our pal Noah. Appreciate it, man. Trisha in the house over on YouTube. Elwin is there on YouTube as well. We got Martin in the house. Hey, Zorua, do you plan on playing Lego Dimensions for the Harry Potter packs and Fantastic Beasts and where to find them story pack? 
Dude, I mean, maybe, right? I feel like at this point, I have to go all in. Like, I feel like we have to fully complete the Harry Potter video game journey. Um, and, and then post a massive video of me doing the ultimate Harry Potter video game tier list. I, I feel like we have to do it. And I know that's not technically a Harry Potter game. I got into a, a discussion with some folks about this when we did our complete history of Harry Potter video games <laughs> video because I didn't talk about the Lego Dimensions pack. Um, but it's, uh, that, that honestly, like, I didn't even know about that until that video. Had a lot of comments asking about that. The one that I think is going to be the trickiest, Zorua, is the, uh, if I can figure out how to get the Lego Creator. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab this. I have them over here. Any of you, uh, any of you PC, gaming PC experts, Windows experts, I may need your help on this. So when we did our video about buying every Harry Potter video game, I, like, I, I wanted to go way back. So we went all the way back to these little guys right here. And believe it or not, this, uh, not the Chamber of Secrets one, this one, Lego Creator Harry Potter, is actually, there's a lot of history with this game. It is the first ever Harry Potter video game. It beat Philosopher's Stone for PC by just, I, I don't even know if it was a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Uh, surprisingly, it's hard to find the, the true release date of these games. There were a couple of discrepancies back when I was doing research on this. But from everything I saw, this one would have been first by by a little bit of time. We don't know how much, but it was the same year. It was the same year as the other one. 2001, I believe, is when they both... Yeah, 2001 is what's on the back of this one, too. Uh, and so this was also another bit of history. Lego was the first ever, like, third-party... Or Harry Potter was the first ever third-party partnership with Lego. There you go. Bit of trivia right there. Uh, and so they made this they, they made this game. So now think about where the Lego games are, speaking of Lego Dimensions. And it all started way back in the day with Harry Potter. Now you got Lego Fortnite. Guys, if you're just dropping in, we are doing a little just chatting segment here in the beginning, and we are live over on YouTube and on Twitch. So wherever you're watching from, appreciate you hanging out. Noah, thank you for the follow. Oh, dude, this is going to be really complicated now, though. I got to get the terminology correct when we're live on both. If you're on Twitch, hit that follow button. It's free. It's easy. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It's easy. Both great ways to support the stream. Uh, and of course, if you want to support in a monetary way, you can do that on Twitch with a subscription. Of course, if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. No charge for you. And then on YouTube, it's called a membership. You can become a member of House Wrecking Tour. No matter which one you choose, you're always part of our House Wrecking Tour family. And you'll have a special role in the Discord. Mac and Cheese! Good afternoon, Mac and Cheese. Thank you for being here. King Tut in the house. King Tut, what's up, dude? Welcome in. I know, King Tut, I know you sent me that email. Um, and I appreciate doing that. It's I haven't forgotten about it. It's just not something I'm ready to to move on just yet but i do appreciate you sending that and if if we do ever update the merch uh i'll most likely be reaching out alicia not staying because i'm going through some stuff at the moment oh no hopefully everything's uh all good alicia guys send alicia some love send some lumos to alicia's way hope everything is all good alicia is a regular loyal member here in the stream appreciate you stopping by alicia for the support we got Anna over on YouTube saying hello. We've got Kosher Ninja. Good morning, Kosher Ninja. Welcome in. Christy, what the Christy stopping by to say hello? Always good to see you, Christy. Hope you're doing well. Linus, yeah, we did indeed. We switched it up. I My earlier meeting got moved to a different day, and then my... Later meeting, I forgot about. <laughs> it 
So 2 o'clock is what I originally scheduled for. That was going to be cutting it too close. So we'll give everybody a little extra time here since we started earlier. We always do a little just chatting here in the beginning anyway um, before we get over to the gameplay. So hopefully we always have a couple trickle in who are like, where's the gameplay? Come on, man. Come on. See, at least on Twitch, I can set it to just chatting right now. So you guys, it's clearly labeled. We've got it right here. Don't worry, we're going to get to it. We also have this bad boy right here. Now, what's going to be complicated about this, when I said we will attempt to do this, <laughs> I did a little test run. And the problematic part is, see this this book right here? So it's, it's an augmented reality game, for those of you who don't know. And I have this little PS3 camera right here. So this little guy... I have to have him positioned like right in front of my monitor, but he needs to see the book. I love how I'm saying he, like he's, you know, he's someone, he's a friend. We should give him a name. <laughs> the little eye toy. Come up with a name for him, guys. But still, I have to have like this book visible, but then uh, my face also has to be visible. So I'm probably going to have to sit way back to where the book can also be seen. And then you have to tilt the camera way down. It's just, it's going to be interesting. If you look at all the promotional materials, the way that they display, um, I mean, it's a kid's game, guys. <laughs> it's a kid's game. And so they're sitting on the floor with the book flat and open. And then the camera's like up on a TV stand or something pointed down. So let's see we just had a another sub drop in or another member see there we go a channel member from let's see who was that from we had nico there re-upping the membership we had christy with the 18 months nico supporting at the phoenix tier with a 20 month streak that's some dedication right there 18 months and 20 months thank you guys for the support appreciate it and then El Elwin right there with the 18 months as well. My goodness, you guys, 18 months? That's legitimately crazy to me that we've been doing the live streaming regularly for that long. My goodness, man. All right, let me do some rapid fire here over on the YouTube chat. I'm going to get fully caught up. King Tut following over on Twitch. Appreciate it, man. All right, so we had, we had Kosher Ninja. We got Linus. Linus, welcome in, dude. Uh, just the name. Abigail. Wait, that's... Wait, Abigail, you are Waldemar? Or am I just so far behind in chat that I am uh, getting it confused? Just the name. Welcome in, dude. Think you'll finish this one today? I actually have no idea. Has anybody ever played this? Anyone in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat? If you have ever played this game... Give us an idea for how long it is, because I have no clue. We're going to read the back of the box here in a minute, because um, honestly, I mean, yeah, it's a kid's game, but there's actually some lore stuff here that I am <laughs> curious to uh, to see how it's presented. That's funny, because you were, you were, oh, you were just on YouTube Shorts, GG? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that they've added live streaming to that now. Who knows? At some point, maybe we'll be uh, we'll be live. Oh, actually, Abby ninety two is Abigail. There we go. Perfect. Zarua, yeah, we got the book. So, um, shout out to Ren. I don't know if Ren's here today. Ren will probably see this at some point. But Ren actually sent us a sealed copy of Book of Spells right there. Sealed copy. And Ren has been waiting all this time for this moment for me to finally get to play the game. Because uh, for those of you who've seen our video on buying every Harry Potter video game, the Wonder Book games were a little bit tough because I found just Book of Spells no problem. However, to play this game, it is required that you also have this book and a PlayStation Move controller. Um... So I bought this by itself originally just thinking, hey, maybe I can find a used book on eBay or something. But then Ren came through and was like, I have, the, I have book of spells that I've never even opened, sealed. So I just opened this for the first time yesterday. Um, 
amazing of Ren to do that. And then our really tough one to find was Book of Potions. So I had to actually order from Amazon UK to find Book of Potions. And it's not even the uh, US version of the game. Now, PS3 will play it. That's no problem. But uh, it's it's like the uh, the European version of Book of Potions. But yeah, we did end up finding all of the games and have the book. And look at look at the name that I see. Mr. Renyart, the next name I see right there below Zorua. Ren, I'm glad you're here, dude. I know you said you're lurking, but hey, on YouTube, you can always go back and rewind and catch it at any point. <clears throat> Murphy Aslan, welcome in. Appreciate you stopping by. And I think we had another uh, membership over on... Let's see, did I get... Uh, there it was, Per Barthella. Hey, welcome in. Thank you for the membership. 17 months with Per Barthel. Appreciate that. Always good to see your name pop up. It's been a while since I've seen you in the chat, but hey, the fact that you've been supporting as a member all this time, very much appreciated. <clears throat> all right, Derek in the chat. What's up, Derek, over on the uh, YouTube side? We got Mew Store over on the Twitch side of things. Welcome in. We got Magicka subscribing with a tier one sub on Twitch. We got Rin subscribing on Twitch with a tier one sub. We got Damia as well over on Twitch. <clears throat> Orthodox, welcome in. Freaking Nerds Media, what is up? Where on earth did you find it? Dude, hopefully you uh, you heard that story about Rin right there. Rin coming through clutch. Rin, Rin's awesome, dude. But, um, so Book of Spells, like, just on its own, I found that at a local, uh, just, like, used game. Uh, it's called Game Exchange that we have in our area. And I never could find a Book of Potions anywhere here in the U.S. Looked on eBay. Found a couple of, uh, every copy I found on eBay was, um, it was like a different territory. Like, it even had a different language on the front of the box. So, I didn't want to do that. But the uh, the UK one, I was like, okay, that should play fine on my PS3. And so, I had to, I had to for the first time ever, Amazon.co.uk, I, I bought it straight from there. <clears throat> Abigail, I'm not sure which way to chat. <laughs> hey, wherever you want to hang out, it's all good. Wherever you guys want to hang out and chat is fine by me. You can keep both tabs open. I, I can see, so once we get going here, it'll be easier for me to keep up with everything. Right now, I'm trying to read every comment, but I'll, I'll have both chats side by side, and you guys can see we've got both of the alerts going off, so it looks like those are working correctly. Just give me a little time. It might take a little getting used to uh, <laughs> managing both of the chats here. Musical King DJ, welcome in. There's another name I haven't seen in a bit. <clears throat> Appreciate you stopping by, dude. Channel member right there. We got Becky in the house. Becky, welcome back. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah, well, I don't want to spoil too much King Tut, but like I did a little bit of testing because I wanted to see if there was any setup involved, and there was. It had to do like an install, which took a little bit, and then I had to do some kind of calibration with the controller. Kosher Ninja, thank you for following over on Twitch. Appreciate it, man. Even the phone games. Whew, now, that would be a challenge just to name. I definitely want to do the handheld games. But the phone games, I don't even know if there's any way to play those anymore. Maybe there's like some Flash version online or something. Magica, yeah, we we had to change up the time. Dumble Debbie uh, with the sub over on Twitch. Dumble Debbie, thank you so much for the support. Recognize your your name from Expecto Go streams. Appreciate you hanging out here. <clears throat> Magica currently a day off work doing Hogwarts Legacy. You get the platinum. Let's go. Let's go. 
We got another Nico in the chat. So, how's everyone doing? Doing well. Thank you for stopping by, man. Welcome back in. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind on chat, guys. All right, here we go. This is like super rapid fire. If you're on uh, YouTube and you haven't hit the thumbs up button yet, make sure you hit the like button. Appreciate the support. That's going to help more people find the stream, uh, help more people see us when we are live. Every little bit helps, guys. All right. Okay, here we go. I said rapid fire. It's rapid fire time. Where, <laughs> Dylan, where's the gameplay? All right, hold on. I'm just making sure I'm said hello to everyone. Just the name, I missed the iToy and Azkaban on PS2. <gasps> Wait, what does that mean? Does it have some sort of feature with the iToy? Hey, freaking nerds, media with the sub over on Twitch. Appreciate it, dude. Wait, 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 hold on. Rin, that was Rin gifting out five subs over on Twitch. Rin, appreciate that, dude. Master813, looks like Elwin got a gifted sub over there. Looks like Friggin' Nerds Media got a gifted sub over on Twitch. King Tut got a gifted sub over there. Rin, appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much, man. Eddie, over on YouTube, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And also, not only that, I was playing Hogwarts Legacy. Gave me some tips on what to do when I was stuck in a few areas, which not a lot of players do. Appreciate that, man. I'm glad I was able to help. Yeah, we've got, if you're still playing through, we've got quite a few videos up on the channel of uh, tips and various walkthroughs. We've got Let's Plays as well. So I'm glad you glad you found them helpful. I don't know why the names aren't popping up anymore with that alert. I need to go and figure out what's going on there. <clears throat> I never knew this existed, to be honest. Never even heard of it, said King Tut. It's about three hours long, maybe four. Oh, okay. Mew Store with the sub over on Twitch. Hey, appreciate it, Mew Store. Mary Studios. Good to see you over there as well, Mary. Dude, maybe this, uh, maybe it's like doing two, managing two chats at once, but I feel like we have a lot more people here than usual. Wolf Spirit with the sub. Hold on. Do we have more gifteds? Or are you guys just back to back to back? That had to be another set of gifteds. Light Carrier subscribing. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is getting... <laughs> Bricky Hallows. What a name. I love it. This is getting crazy, man. For sure like a hype train over on Twitch right now. Gotta be. Got to be a hype train. Nico uh, asked, what does the book do? So it's an augmented reality thing. So you guys will see. The cool thing about this is it's not going to be like VR. I feel like it's kind of hard to stream, you know, because you guys can't experience what I'm experiencing. Kosher Ninja over on Twitch as well. Appreciate the sub, dude. But with AR, with augmented reality... This is what I'll see in the real world, of course, but on the actual game, this will render in-game as like a real book. So the the uh, the PlayStation Eye, the camera, it will see this, and because of whatever coding is in here, it will then turn that into a real book that you guys see in-game, or a digital book, I should say. Then this will be transformed into a wand on screen. So it's going to look like I'm actually holding... A wand. If if we can get everything to work correctly. How are you? So three hours long, four hours. Oh man, that might be two streams. It's 11.30 now. If we get started here in the next 15 minutes. So let's see. 11.45, 12.45, 1.45, 2.40. Yeah, I think it'll probably be, it'll probably be two streams for this one. <clears throat> because I've got a, uh, a thing for my, my son a little bit after. Okay, hold on. Somebody gifted over on Martin. Dude, Martin gifted out 10 memberships over on YouTube. Martin appreciated my man. And then we had Noah right before that re-upping his membership. Ravenclaw Tyrell with the 18 months over on YouTube. Dude, appreciate that, man. I'm going to have to... Okay, so let me... Here, you guys know, the regulars know, I have a little notepad beside me that I always have to keep 
I have to keep track of anything that I need to tweak on stream. So right now we need to fix the the YT member alert. There's no names. But at least it's going off. So I know you guys are uh <laughs> I know you guys are there. Martin, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it, man. If you guys got one of those gifted memberships from Martin, be sure to let him know. Say thanks. So if you guys are wondering, here's the benefits. So when you're on Twitch, if you're a member, oh my gosh, let me back up. If you're on Twitch and you're a subscriber, you're gonna get access to our emotes there. You also get ad-free viewing on Twitch. So Twitch, there's, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about the ads, guys. They, uh, I saw someone earlier commenting on all the ads. That's just, that's just how it is on Twitch, unless you're subscribed. If you're subscribed, then you don't see any ads. And then you also get a uh, special role in our Discord as well. Now, if you're a member on YouTube, you get access to emotes. Uh, it's it's ad-free viewing because I set it up that way <laughs> on YouTube, but it's not um, it's not enabled by the membership. Then you're also going to get access to our members-only videos that we post once a month, and you also get access to members-only polls and posts that we do from time to time. So. Uh, Man, you guys, crazy amounts of support today. Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Good to see you. Andrew got one of those gifteds. Robert. DVDH. Let's go. Danelle got one of the gifteds. B Mill. Tan got one of the gifteds. Travis. Derek. Jerry. Uh, Arif or Arif, maybe, got one of the gifteds from Martin. Noah, you got both open. Hey, appreciate it, dude. How are you? Welcome to Gryffindor. Andrew gifting out a membership as well. Andrew, man, appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. All right, I'm scrolling to catch up with you guys over on the, the Twitch side. <laughs> this, is, this is so much harder than it looks, man. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm neglecting them over here. All right, let's see. Wolf Spirit. Oh, Wolf Spirit got one of the gifted subs over there. Let's go. All right, I think we're caught up over on the Twitch side. Now we got to get caught up on... Oh, wait. Wait, that's it. That's it. That's it. We're caught up. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Noah, you're saying you can't see Super Chats? Um... What do you mean you can't see it? I don't think we've had any come through yet. We've had we've had gifted memberships and we've had memberships, but I I don't think any super chats have came through. Because even if it, even if it doesn't pop up on screen, it should uh it should pop up in the chat. Savage Khaleesi with the eight months. Never seen this game before. Excited for the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Khaleesi! Welcome, man. And thank you for the support, as always. All right, I think it's about time for some gameplay. And to see if we can get this set up properly. <laughs> because of the angle that we have to set this camera up at. All right, let me click off of that. Let me make sure both of the chats are all the way at the bottom. I have faith in you. I hope so. I hope so. Taking care of three children. <laughs> two chats. Hey, just two kids, and they're both at school today. So if you count my dog, that is a third she's kind of like a third child admittedly but she's being she's being chill and relaxed right now <laughs> oh no way Zorua that's unfortunate the only way that the old uh Lego game works is with Windows XP and a lot of hard work no hey try time down under congratulations you just got a gifted sub from our pal Nico Nico thank you so much for gifting that sub appreciate it man and try time. Hope you enjoy that gifted membership. Muse store. You hope there'll be a way to play it on PS5. I don't know how they would get that working, but who knows? Maybe you never know. Okay, Noah was saying there's the there's not even a super chat button right now. Hello. How are you? 
Say what? Let me pull up my my stream here. Actually, I don't know if it would e even give me the option. Uh, show your support. I mean, it's showing up for me on on desktop. It's like a little box with a dollar sign, and then you click that, and then it's got like super stickers, super chat, membership, membership gifting. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, Noah. It looks like it's there for me. Nico, you can see it. Okay, nice. Thank you for confirming. Appreciate that. I know like different browsers and then you got mobile, so. Jake, you just subscribed. Jake, appreciate it, dude. Welcome in. You can with a lot of tinkering emulate them. <laughs> hey, Elwin. Elwin with the super chat as a test test. This thing on, this thing on. Elwin, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Too kind of you. All right, so guys, if you've been waiting for the moment, Murphy Aslan. <laughs> Noah, was this your plan all along to just get people to start super chatting? <laughs> Murphy Aslan, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Christy, confirm you can see it on the app. Awesome. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate that. All right, guys, so this is going to be a challenge. Let me close out all of my little windows here. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I don't know why Nick stopped talking. I don't know why he stopped talking, but I think we got all the, the memberships and everything. If that was the plan, it worked, right? Oh, man. Okay, let's switch over to our PS3 view. And I'm going to bring my camera up for now. But once we actually get into the gameplay, you guys will see. Uh, I don't think we'll want the double cameras up. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and switch over. Wonder Book, Book of Spells. Oh, I remember what else I need to change. I need to change my... Uh, Actually, I think mods can do this, too. I might need to uh, make sure all of the mods know how at some point. Not today. I'll take care of it right now. But there's a way to actually, like, change the category. Please connect the PlayStation Move controller. All right, one moment. So the category is going to be, I mean, let's see. If they actually have, oh, my goodness. <laughs> There is actually a category for Wonder Book Book of Spells. This is hilarious. All right, so I'm updating over on Twitch. On YouTube, we shouldn't need to change anything. Did they make any other Wonder Book? They did, and I can't remember what they were now, but I'm pretty sure they did have at least one more. I mean, obviously, there's Book of Potions, but I know you were asking about anything other than the Harry Potter games. All right, PlayStation Move controller is connected. I wonder if anyone else is currently streaming. I I wonder if this game has ever been streamed, period, Damia. I legitimately wonder if anyone else has ever streamed this game. What, see, now this chat, I already did this. And they're making me do... See, I thought, like, I'll be covered. And chat won't have to watch me go through the tutorial. Why is it doing this again? Uh, X to skip forward. Let's just skip forward. Yeah, see... Now, sit on the floor <laughs> a little way back from your PlayStation eye camera. All right, so you let, can see your let me turn off on this one. Pick up your motion controller and point it towards the camera lens. Keeping it clearly visible. See, we're gonna have to back up. Hold your motion controller really steady, then press the move button. Have to put the book here. Let me scoot my keyboard back. Oh yeah, I think that's I think that's good actually. Now I just need to back up far enough. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. This might work after all. Okay, so point your PlayStation Move controller 
at the PlayStation I. Whoa! It did like a little uh. Place your wonder book on the floor in front of you. See, I can't Make do that. Sure it's closed with the front cover facing upward. All right, let's see if we can skip all this. You're all set. You're all set. Yeah, I did this yesterday. Okay, good. That wasn't that wasn't nearly as much as we had to do yesterday. Per Barthel with the super chat as well. Per Barthel, thank you so much for the support. Appreciate that. See, look. There I am, you guys. And there's the book. See, watch, watch, watch. Look at this. That's actually kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> this is crazy. All right, I am going to have to reach up. Um... Okay, hold on. I need to note the time that I'm starting. People of the internet on YouTube, hello and welcome in to Wonderbook, Book of Spells. This is a PlayStation Move title, Augmented Reality, and this is the first time I've ever played it, except for yesterday when I <laughs> set this up right here. But I'm going to do new games so you guys can see everything from the very beginning. Do you want to link your game with existing? See, I tried this, but I doubt that there's any actual benefits all these years later, so I'm just going to say no right now. Wand Select. Okay, Cedar and Dragon Heartstring. Ebony and Phoenix Feather, 12 inches rigid. Let's see, this one was 13 and a half inches, quite bendy. And then we have Poplar and Unicorn Hair, 10 and a half inches, supple. So I am actually Phoenix Feather Wand. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Cloud Roth, what's up? I see you, dude. Welcome in. Okay, let me say... Do I push the move button? Yeah, there we go. I can tilt the camera up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> what do I do now? Like, point it here? Okay, then we've got house... Gryffindor House prizes courage and daring above all else. Hufflepuff House prides hardworking, loyal, and just students. Ravenclaw House favors wit and learning above all else. And then Slytherin House takes those of ambition, cunning, and resourcefulness. Y'all already know. We gotta go with the Gryffindor. This is so crazy, man. Look at that. Get ready to take your wizard photo. Okay, so I'm going to have to like... Oh, you know what I could do? I can lower my... I forgot about that. That's going to help a little bit. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, it's got the wand in the photo, too. That is awesome. All right, let's go here. Elwyn with another super chat. You're a wizard retro. We are, we are physically becoming a wizard. We are stepping into the game right now, you guys. We got our little spell book here. This is great. I can't believe this is actually oh, hello working. There. You know, Hogwarts students shouldn't be there. in the restricted section of the library without a note. Huh, you're lucky I'm just a professor. If the librarian caught you... Oh, you've already picked up a book, I see, but... Hang on a minute. <laughs> it's covered in dust. You must be the first student in years to pick it up. Where in the library did you find this? Ah. Looks like you got post. Let's see now. Let's see now. Oh, wait. Do I need to, like, pick this up? Oh, look at that. 
This student is given permission to collect a this copy of. This student is given permission to collect. Okay, a copy thank you. Of the book of I, I had it covered, but all right. Section. From the restricted section. How on earth did you get permission for this? Oh, you're a Gryffindor, are you? Well, I hope you know what you're doing. What does that mean? Let's have a look at it. Brush that dust off the cover. Okay, when I did the little test run yesterday, I had a lot of problems getting this you to can't work. can't start reading just yet. <laughs> Close your book and leave it face up for a moment. Okay, the book is closed. Dust off the cover. Maybe I have to use the wand. You can't start reading just yet. Close your book and leave it face up for a moment. That's it. Keep going. There we go. Dust is gone now, right? You can't start reading. I'm not yet. reading it. Close your book and leave it face up for a moment. I'm dusting the cover. There. It's clear. You can't start reading just yet. <laughs> Close your book and leave it face up for a moment. This is the part that we had trouble with. Just yet. Close your book it finally and just worked. I'm not sure what finally triggered it. You can't start reading just yet. Maybe I need Close to do like leave it face up for a moment. You can't start reading just yet. Close your book and leave okay, it face up. Okay, let's try to move it for a bit. Maybe if we You can't start reading just yet. Close your book and leave it face up for a moment. Wait a moment. Is this? <gasps> yes. <laughs> this Whoa. is the Book of Spells by Miranda Goshawk. I mean, yes. this isn't your standard book I of have spells. it. It's very old. But after all, you did get permission. It's just, well, Miranda Goshawk was a powerful witch. And sometimes magic and old spell books can be a bit unpredictable. Dude, this oh, is actually kind of crazy. education to think about. I'll be here to guide you while you read the book. After all, it could contain rare charms or dangerous jinxes or all kinds of exciting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. Open it up to the first page. Okay, wait. So if I'm going to... Is this the direction I need it to face? I guess so. Oh, <gasps> here we go. Whoa, the camera just moved oh, on its own there. Put it where I can see it. There Put it where you go. can see it, Ready okay. First, let's make sure your wand is in fine shape. Oh, chapter one. Make sure my wand is in fine shape, okay. Now, a spell book like this can help you with all sorts of enchantments. See that glowing spot on the page? Point your wand at it, then press the T button. Dude, my kids would love this. <laughs> Here we are. We're going to practice this nice snap of the wrist. It's a sharp Ooh, flick all right. of your wand like this. Oh, there we go. Wow, it looks like your wand is ready to go. Time to show me some real <laughs> wand work. <laughs> no Just, way. Oh, that's it. Very good. Right, keep flicking. Expelliarmus! You don't need to press any buttons with a spell like this. Just flick. A bit more. Keep flicking your wand. Swish Look and flick. Make sure you've got the hang of it. A bit more. Keep flicking your wand. Yes, you've definitely got the hang of it. Let's move on, shall we? You can cancel activities at any time by holding the circle button. So do that now. Okay, hold the circle button. That's it. Now hold it. It looks like your wand work is up to scratch. Let's move on. There oh, you yeah. go. Now let's see what our esteemed author Miranda Goshawk had Can to I say put it back on the... Board. Oh, yes. If it would just see it I right there, that would be perfect. Poor family, the last of nine sisters. When I was a youngster, there was no basic spell book to give a beginner witch like myself the clear and simple instructions that would have made magic a much less mysterious process. I struggled to understand the complicated instructions in the old-fashioned textbooks I was given at school. Back at home, I was at the mercy of my older sister's mischievous attempts to give me the wrong incantation for every spell I attempted. You can kind of see my hand wand interacting a little bit. Hand-me-down spells can be dangerous. When I grew up, I quickly realized that the help I had craved simply did not exist. And so, I created the book you are holding now. The Book of Spells. 
I could not be prouder that this simple school textbook is now being used in schools for magic all over the world. And has been translated into 72 languages, including... So this is Miranda talking, huh? I also had a few special editions printed for my dear sisters, which unfortunately contained a few misprints that led to quite a few comical mishaps. But Romilda's tale has vanished now, and we're all friends again. The book Romilda. Of will enable you to perform a range of basic and not so basic spells that will enhance Hey, Shadow Cat. Thank you so much for the membership, Shadow Cat. Find a conundrum, a little poem with a hidden message concerning those characteristics and habits that make witches and wizards truly great. Each conundrum tells the story of a witch or wizard who did not possess the necessary traits and paid Ooh. the price. Names Interesting. The, inadequate. the solution to all the conundrums can be found when you have mastered every spell in this book. Oh, <gasps> mastered time, every spell? You may not need the solution at all. Good luck. Stay safe. And make good magic. Make good magic. You uncovered a collectible. That will go into the collectibles chapter in your spellbook. Later on, you can visit the chapter to see all the things you've collected. What about but trophies? Now, let's move on. How do I earn trophies? Got two magical spots on the book. Every page of the book of spells has spots like these. See that new spot on the right hand page? Use your wand to pull it up out of the book, and we can read what spells we have in store in chapter one. Or you can try testing out your wand again by pulling no, up the picture on the left lost. hand page. I shouldn't have moved the book. When you read the Book of Spells, you can use your wand to move the words back and forth. Try it now. Point your wand at the words at the top of the screen, then hold the T button and slide them to the left. It's like the angle. It just needs... Hold on. I might be able to fix this, actually. I'm going to put the, these game cases... Oh, like... just put the book back where I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> Try to, like, prop it up. There we go. Did you get that? Aim your wand at the words on the screen, then hold the T button and slide them to the left. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, ah, that's better. All right. I'm not going to move it again. Starting now. <laughs> Starting now, we're not going to move it again. That sure is a huge wand, Rin says. I know, like this, <laughs> this that part right there, especially. Okay. I don't know what it told me to do. Did you guys check? In this chapter, we'll learn four spells ideal for developing your ah, wand skills. pressing the move button. Whenever you want to read something on your book, use the T button. It's like a trigger on your PlayStation Move motion controller. Oh, this right here. Oh, wait, am I supposed to turn the page? Oh, <gasps> no way. The levitation charm. Now, you don't read this spell book like a muggle textbook. To read your book, you point your wand at any words that are glowing on the page, and then just press the T button. When you read the Book of Spells, you can use your wand to move the words back and forth. Try it now. Point your wand at the words at the top of the screen, then hold the T button and slide them to the left. Just release the button. That's it. Whenever you're reading, you can use your wand to skip ahead or go back. Oh, that's Point cool. Point with your wand again and slide the words to the right to go back. Nice wand work. You can also stop reading <laughs> nice at any time by holding the circle button. This one's hard to perform with when tracking charm, stops. Oh, no. Can make things fly with the flick of a wand. The charm is an excellent test of your magical skill, wand control, and above all, patience. Patience. Oh, great. 
<laughs> there you have it. For every spell you learn, you'll first get a description of the spell from the author. Oh, look! There's more to find out about the spell. Looks like Miranda Gosog also put a wizarding story about the levitation charm into her book. That's Pull what I want to know about. Picture with your wand to read the story, or just turn the page. Well, wait, we've got two here. This is probably what we just did, right? Let me see. The levitation charm is one of the first spells learned yep, by okay. any young witch or So that wizard. one we already did. With the charm. All right, skip. The charm is skip. <laughs> and then we're going to do are. this For side. Every spell you learn, you'll first get a description of the spell from the author. Oh, look. There's more to find out about the spell. This is what I want to know, man. The lore. So put a wizarding story about the levitation charm into her book. Pull up the glowing picture with your wand to read the story. Or just turn the page. Looks like we're going to hear a tale about this spell. Ready? It's up to you. Do you want to read the story now or later? Use your wand to choose. Point at one of the tabs. Hold the T button, then slide the tab out. Wait, what? <laughs> the tabs? Where's the... Oh, this thing over here? Good. Good. The levitation charm was invented in 1544 by warlock Jarleth Hobart, who mistakenly believed that he had at last succeeded in doing what wizard kind had so far failed to do and learnt to fly. Hobart invited a large crowd of wizards, including the chief warlock of the Wizengamot, to witness his maiden flight. Oh no. On the 16th of July, 1544, Hobart climbed onto the roof of the local church. And after several speeches and a rousing performance of the... Oh, it seems your spellbook oh. is testing you. There's a word missing from the story. Point I your mean. wand. Ah, yes. After a rousing <laughs> performance of the national anthem, he leapt into midair. At first, Hobart appeared to have succeeded. He hung in midair for nearly three minutes until the crowd grew impatient to see him move somewhere. Uh <laughs> what? In response to their cat calls, Hobart began to perform vigorous swimming movements, which had no effect. Mistakenly believing that he was being hampered by his heavy boots and... Oh, another missing word. Jarlet's going to throw something away, but what? Oh, believing he was being hampered by his heavy robes, he took them off and tossed them away. Uh, yeah, just a name. I didn't know if I was supposed to press anything there on that on one or the not. Of these items, Hobart dropped 10 feet, and it became painfully clear to those watching from below that far from weighing him down, they had been helping to keep him airborne. Ah, right. Infuriated by the increasing laughter of the onlookers, Hobart continued to strip. Bro, what Until is this finally, story? On removal of his... Oh, dear. On removal of his underpants... Censored. To the air, <laughs> completely naked. Breaking 16 bones and earning himself a fine for what the chief warlock described as outrageous silliness. Humiliated, Hobart returned home. Hey, appreciate it, to... Noah. There we go. It's showing up for you now. He eventually realized. Thank you, man. That he appreciate had it. A spell that would lift objects into the air and could cause them to hover for varying lengths of time, depending on their weight and the skill of the spellcaster. Small <laughs> animals and even children might be levitating. What a gem of a game this no <laughs> right over their direction of movement. Hobart consequently made a second announcement, and another, even larger crowd assembled to watch his new demonstration. Hoping for another hearty laugh at his expense. The new demonstration was initially much more successful than the first. 
Hobart showed the onlookers how he could lift a variety of objects, ranging from small rocks all the way up to... What else could this spell levitate? Pull out one of the taps to try it. Let's say passing trolls. Interesting, but no. Oh, Let's come on. <laughs> That's it. He could lift fallen trees. That man said, interesting, but no. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cheers of the crowd went to Hobart's head, and he decided for a finale to levitate the chief's hat. It was only then that he, and indeed the crowd, realized that the chief wore a wig. <laughs> Hobart only survived the resulting duel by levitating the chief's robes over his head and running for it. Wow. I had never heard this lore story in all of my now, some spells in the years book following this fandom. Stories to go with them, left especially by Miranda. I mean, our esteemed author. This spellbook has some powerful magic indeed. Time for you to Callum. Of your own. Welcome in, dude. To learn to cast this Hope spell. you're doing well, man. Wander the ready and turn the page to learn it. I'll turn the page. Okay. I'm going to be very careful here. Uh, one of the book's pictures has got a bit out of control. Just try brushing those feathers away with your hand. Oh, not this again. <gasps> First try. What? Oh, where's your book gone? It's the same spot I've had it, pal. Well. Just turning that page, though, threw it off a little bit. Wingardium Leviosa. The magic words for the levitation charm are Wingardium Leviosa. Be sure to make the gar nice and long. Say the incantation aloud nice and clearly now. Okay. Three, two, one. Wingardium Leviosa. Nice and loud. Is that not loud enough for you? <laughs> That's the incantation learnt. Now time for the wand gesture you must make to cast the spell. Pull the gesture diagram up from the page. The gesture diagram? Is that this one? Uh, let's see. Incantation. Yeah, so this is the gesture over here. Callum, it is... It's crazy, dude. It's a kid's game, but there's a lot of lore, too, that I'm curious to see. This spell is all in the wrist. Keep your wand hand loose and perform a all nice, in the wrist. smooth swish and flick. Oh, they got the swish and this flick. Okay. To cast a spell, you trace the gesture shape while holding the move button on your controller. While holding the Hold move button. Hold down the move button, trace the shape, then let go. Well uh, done. Not bad. Now make the gesture once more, this time from memory. Swish and flick. <laughs> That's it. See that symbol hey, that one was good. That means you've cast the spell. Now, you don't need to press the move button or make the gesture again. You can keep using this spell till you cast another. Now, with the levitation charm... Yo, you trophy! ...you wand at an object, then hold the T button to levitate it. Just aim your wand, then hold the T button to cast the spell. Oh, here we go. Try oh, this is crazy. that jar. Point at it and hold the T button. Wingardium Leviosa. You need to safely land the jar to move on. Just release the T button when you're ready. Okay. Why why are you flipping out like that? Please settle. Whoa. Superb. Yeah. You knew exactly what I was doing. Or we can move on. You can keep levitating. Normal at any time by holding the circle button. Hey, Linus, uh, dude, thank you so much for supporting at the Tier 2 Unicorn level over on YouTube. Linus, appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. And, uh, Danelle, so the book, is the book still available? Probably on eBay. You might have luck finding it. That's where I was looking on, just hold the circle button. before Ren came through to help me out. 
I want to do this again. Let's do this one more time. You need to safely land the jar to move on. I don't know why it flips Release out like that. When you're ready. You're doing well. Now try landing the jar safely back on the boat. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'm not really try sure why it... it again. This time, see how high you can get it before dropping it. You can keep levitating or we can move on. You can return the book to normal at any time by holding the circle button. You need to safely land the jar to move on. Just release the bottle the flip challenge, trees, right? You know, levitate the jar again and try to land it carefully. You need to safely land the jar to move on. Just oh, okay. Release the T button when you're ready. You're doing well. All right, let's move excellent on. Excellent levitation skills. You can keep levitating or we can move on. You can return the book to normal at any time by holding the circle button. Okay, so should I turn the page now? Is that what he said? Yeah, I don't think it was a commercial success. Um, for you guys asking about the other Wonder Book games. So there were only four total. Wow. Oh, where's your book gone? Oh, here we go again. Ah, that's better. Yo, Hearthside Gaming. Dude, I see you over there on Twitch, man. It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Okay, wait. What do you want us to do now? Was I not supposed to turn it yet? Oh no, where's your book gone? I think I messed it up, guys. Oh wait, right here maybe? Yeah. You'll need to cast the levitation. Oh, we already did again. this. Remember, swish your wand down and flick up. Oh, my symbol's gone. Well remembered. Okay, let's do this again. Whoa, my camera's moving now. That's kind of cool. Why wasn't the camera doing that earlier? Okay, I gotta listen carefully. We did it. Now what? You'll need to tap circle to stop a spell. You'll oh, need to cast the levitation charm again. Remember, so we're just done. Swish your wand down and flick up. Oh, I went to the last page. Okay, it said you can hold circle to to back out of anything. I mean, I guess. Do I want to do this, Zorua? Is this what I want to do? Just keep holding that. Yeah, hard side. It's it's interesting. I had never played it before. It's definitely. I mean, it's it's made for kids, but there's a lot of lore stuff too. And for those of you uh, hanging out, wondering who I'm talking to at different times, we are live on both YouTube and Twitch today, guys. You need to cast wing guardian at the same time. Again to start All right, I'm just gonna hold this. Remember, it's a swish down and flip. Because we learned the spell. I think we're good. Huh. Look at that. Some previous student has scribbled in your book. Defacing a library book. Oh, I see it. Wait. It looks like they've added an enchantment to the book. I tell you what. Use your wand to pull up that bewitched illustration from the page and let's see what happens. That's the one right here, I think. Uh-huh. It seems our mischievous magical vandal wanted to give you a creature to practice levitating. <laughs> go on then, give it a go. Oh, man. Cast Wingardium Leviosa and then try levitating that toad. He won't oh. do it any harm. Okay, so we gotta do the swish and flick. Good. That's the spell you need. So aim your wand, then hold the T button. Wingardium That's Leviosa. It. Levitating the toad. Oh, he doesn't know what hit him. Hi, chat. Well done. <laughs> Of course, this toad was just conjured up by your spell book. Don't let me catch you trying this on the real thing. What? You said it wouldn't hurt them. Nice and easy. Ah, there you go. Trevor! <laughs> yeah, exactly, Noah. Remarkable magic. In future, though, you should just ignore those scribbles. Unless it's something very interesting. Remember, with this spell, you need to aim your wand. Then hold the T button to use it. 
That's the basics. Now it's time for a proper practice we gotcha. of your new spell. Turn the page when you're ready. Now turn the page. Okay. Keeping it very, very what still. <laughs> Miranda Goshawk has set you. Point your wand at the glowing illustration and pull it up. Oh, Dylan, don't get me started. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. <laughs> now it's time to practice your new charm and learn to levitate with confidence. Luckily, this spellbook holds a number of powerful enchantments which allow it to provide a safe space for spell practice. Your book's going to conjure up a practice space. Whoa! Here we go. Whoa! Okay, wait. An arbology greenhouse. Those plants are mandrakes. Oh, this is what I use for the thumbnail. A perfect chance to put your levitation to the test. I bet we're going to see some gnomes here soon. And into those pots over there. This is now. This is You'll a cool, the levitation charm again cool little scene them. right here. Now these mandrakes are fragile, so you'd better levitate them up out of the ground and over oh, into the pots. Look at that! Put your wand at a mandrake, and oh, they're stubborn. Hold the tea up. There he goes. I'll magically muffle the place. Oh, I have to keep Pop holding it down. Sorry. Good job. Ugly blighters, aren't they? Right. Drop this little fellow into the right-sized pot. Now that mandrake's just a bit too small, isn't it? Oh come it's a waste on! Of a pot. Put it waste in a of a one. pot? Wait a second! I never thought about that. Did he just say? That's it. Release. He just said he cast Muffliato. Done. This mandrake. I never even thought about that. Home. You need to repot all the mandrakes to complete the exercise. I didn't know that would work on mandrakes. That's it. Well, he's woken up. I'll magically muffle him with a spell. Excellent. Another one safely repotted. Here's the little one right here. Come on, you! Good job. Ugly blighters, aren't they? Hey, and Sodish Z, I in. see you over there on Twitch, man. Welcome Excellent. in. Another one safely repotted. All right, last one should be over here. Oh, come on, you! That's it. Release the T button to pop him in. Excellent. Nice work. There we go. Safely repotted. Some spectacular levitation in there, I must say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Activity <laughs> Another complete. trophy. Let's Time go. To see how well you did. Here's a note recording your progress in this lesson. Oh, I forgot Let's to look up if this game has well a platinum done, trophy indeed. or not. You've mastered your first spell. Oh, and to prove it, here's a wizarding photograph. Recording one of your moments of magic. Good work. <laughs> Look at Great that, job. dude. You're quite the herbologist. Took <gasps> ten house points. Can I export that photo somehow? Please tell me I can. Miranda Goshawks left behind a little more information on this spell. If you'd like to read it, pull up the note. Or you can just turn the page. Oh, of course we're going to read Activity it. Activity complete. Let's see. Time to see how well you did. Here's a note recording your progress in this lesson. Oh, that's the Here note. We are. Never Let's mind. Let's see how you did. Well done indeed. You've mastered your first spell. Ah, and to prove it, here's a wizarding photograph recording one of your moments of magic. Good it does, work. but it's Great very job. easy You're to Oh, it's easy to get. Take 10 house points. 10 <laughs> I know 10 house points, right? Yippee! Miranda it... Goshawks left behind a little more information on this spell. Is it this if you'd one? Like to read it. Pull up the note. Or you can just turn I, the page. I think it's this. I think it's this note here. There are many variations of this spell. The hover charm, the rocket charm, and the floating charm, to name but a mm, few. That's like Levioso but this for Hogwarts Legacy. And best. Which doesn't have any movement this to it. This charm ought not to be seen as a joke spell. It can be most useful in duels and can lift physical obstacles and can even levitate small creatures, though this is likely to confuse any poor animal and is certainly not Whoa. to be encouraged. Whoa, look at that, another collectible. Your first spell lesson complete. All right, now are you ready to good. move on to your next spell? You can return here whenever you like, so turn the page to move on.
All right, what do we have here? Making spell. A useful one. Augmenting. Pull up the description text to find out more. Or Look at the artwork. To learn to cast it. That's why I kind of want to. Man, if I just had like a something to prop it up like this, that would be perfect. But I don't. Oh, now, now you lose it. Now you. Well, where's the book? Put it where I can see it. <laughs> really? Really? There we go. Let's get cracking. Pull up the glowing text. The water making spell conjures clean, drinkable water from the end of the water. Don't don't panic. Don't panic. Thus with the water making spell the sit you down right is there. never without a source of water, whether they're refilling their goblet at dinner or managing a minor eyebrow fire after a carelessly cast fire making spell. Good work. Good work. I didn't do any. What's the ah, symbol for it? Our vandal has left another scribble. The last one was educational. Just shall we have a look? Or if you like, just turn the page. Ooh, the bubble head charm. The it bubble head charm. A bubble of air Let's around go. the caster's head. Useful for underwater exploration. I'm not sure what the incantation for that is actually. Spells. You're ready to cast the charm. I'm looking forward to this. Stay just where I can see you and keep still to see this spell in action. Okay. That's it. You look interesting. What's our magical vandal up to now? Goodness, a chance to try out your bubblehead charm. Although this charm is brilliant for underwater exploration, wizards with particularly bad breath have reported some problems after the first 30 minutes or so. I wonder if those fish have seen an underwater wizard before. See if you can grab one. There they go. A bit shy, aren't they? Looks like the previous owner of your spellbook really knew their stuff. That's better. Never been much of a fish person myself. Ah, oh, well, there you are. <laughs> Our mystery student definitely knew his or her oh, stuff. Man. I don't think That's you'll be funny. able to cast the spell away from this page, but you can come back and try it here anytime. You you never right, let me cast the spell. The page and let's try mastering this spell. I don't I I still don't know if I did that correctly. He said try to grab the fish. Was I supposed to use the wand? Or was I supposed to use my hand? Here, we'll learn the necessary gesture and incantation to conjure water from your wand. You need to learn the magic words for the spell. Oh, we know Point it. Point at the glowing words with your wand, then pull the T button. Augmenti. There it is. Augmenti. Where did the fish come from? The Ginny, incantation for it's magic. Water is Augmenti. <laughs> Be sure to say it clearly when casting the spell. This powerful nice book. Augmenti. Excellent. Well said. See, the PlayStation camera has uh, a microphone, so I think it actually is waiting for me to You're say ready it. You to learn the spell shape. Pull up the picture on the page. My prediction is this one is going to be in the shape of an A. I'm just Casting guessing. Requires a smooth wave See if I'm right. From left oh no! Right with your it's more wand. like a little. Uh... First, dip your wand oh, down, no. then rise up and over. A nice smooth wave. Okay. Not the right shape. Try again. Not the right shape. Well done. There we now go. Now make the gesture once more. This time from memory. That's it. Great! With this spell, just hold down the T button to send out a jet of water. Yeah, I You're think so there. too, King just Tut. Just point your wand, then hold down the T button to create a jet of water. There we go. Oh, goodness! Keep your wand under control! <laughs> That's cool, man! Lovely. Close those pages down. 
Dude, my son will love this. You have to be sure that the book is dry before we move on. All right, fine. Book up so the water runs off it. Are we good, sir? You mean like tilt it all the way up? All right, we should be dry now, right? Tilt the book so the water runs off it. That's the way. You've completed the first half of chapter. <laughs> Wait, it actually responded to, to that. Second part of the chapter, you'll need to close When I shook the book, it right there. And then choose chapter 1, part 2. Okay, close the book. Ready to move on? Just point your wand down at the glow on your book and pull the T button as usual. Then you can pick chapter one, part two. I mean, honestly, like for what this game Here is, we go. You finished the first half I think it's pretty cool, one. man. You'll be able to unlock the other chapters soon, but for now, just point your wand at chapter one, part two. I mean, is it Hogwarts Legacy? Button. No. <laughs> is it like as fun as Philosopher's Stone? No. Is it gimmicky? Yeah. But it's just like a one-off, or we'll see, you know, how Book of Potions changes Here things up, but... you finished the first part of Chapter 1. So, point your wand at Chapter 1, Part 2, and press the Move button. Chapter 1, Part 2. Okay. That Aguamenti was hilarious, though. That was the coolest so far. Wait, I already did this. Chapter 1, Part 2. Oh, and then I open the book? Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm starting to f get the hang of it. Figure this out. Unlocking charm. Oh, this is an unusual spell book. Now, I wouldn't normally teach you this Hello, ingenious Hamora. little charm so soon in your career. Still, it seems Miranda Goshawk thought you could be trusted. Pull up the text to learn about this spell. Gotcha. There are many ways to pass through locked doors in the magical world. See the fire-making spell, the gouging spell, and the reductor curse. The gouging spell? Where you wish to enter or depart discreetly, however, the unlocking charm is your best friend. Good work. Another story, this time about the unlocking charm. Point your wand, then squeeze the T button to pull it up. You know the drill. Ready for another tale? Wand at the ready. Here we are. Want to read the story now or later? Remember, you can always hold oh, the story time. To cancel the story anytime. Let's go. Choose... Give me the story. <laughs> the famous unlocking charm was introduced to Britain in the early 1600s by a wizard thief called Eldon Elsrickle, who had fled from Britain to Africa, hoping to escape punishment for a series of robberies. Elsrickle sneaked back into the country, heavily disguised and possessed of two treasures. The first was a baby monster called a Nundu, a terrifying oh, the Nundu, creature, yeah. which when full grown could devour whole crowds of men in a single gulp. Oh, However, claw. I forgot to push it. be subdued with a simple, what would you use? No, that doesn't seem right. Oh, come on. That's what Hagrid would say. <laughs> oh, dang. It got him. No way. Okay, fine. Stunning so spell. The could be subdued with a simple stunning spell. <laughs> and Elsrickle intended to use it to guard his house when he was not there. Elsrickle's second treasure was the charm that he had learned from an ancient African sorcerer. Alohomora, otherwise known as the Unlocking Charm, or the Thief's Friend. 
Elsrickle immediately resumed his career of villainy, and no house in London, whether muggle or wizard owned, was safe. Elsrickle was soon taking home priceless jewels, paintings, and antiques to the house which was occupied by his Nundu. Soon, the spectral thief of old London town was making front page news in both the Hey, appreciate and it, Becky. Worlds. Have a good one. Nobody could understand how the criminal was getting in and out of houses without breaking windows or using ladders. Once in a while, Elsrickle would be surprised in the home of a fellow. Oh, another missing word. Elsrickle would be surprised in the home of a fellow wizard. <laughs> Whenever this happened, the cunning fellow offered to trade his fabulous new charm for his freedom. His deal was accepted so many times that soon there were a great Wait, what do you mean canter on? So I can just audibly say that operating in the capital. And the microphone will pick it up. That's kind of crazy. Eldrickle was confident that he would never be burgled, however. Because he made sure that everyone knew he owned an ever-growing... What horror did Elsrickle keep in his house? Can you Swipe remember? Swiper. Swipe. Everyone I don't know what I don't know what you meant. Ever -growing Canter. It didn't work for me that time. <laughs> Maybe I have to say it louder. He put it to sleep each morning through the keyhole of his door before entering the house. woke it up in the same way when he left at night. It's a Dora the Explorer reference. Can't then say I, I got that day, one. When Blagden Blay, a wizard My kids never got into that show. ...times in two weeks, succeeded in inventing an anti-Alohomora charm. In a single night, the wizarding doors of London were sealed shut and task forces were dispatched to protect muggle houses too. On the last day of his life, Elsrickle returned home after being unable to commit a single burglary all night. Tired, frustrated, and angry, he completely forgot about oh, putting his no way. To through the keyhole before he entered the house. Use no, and it got him. He ever spoke before being pounced upon and eaten was Alohomora. Dang, <laughs> it's kind of dark. He did indeed. All right, P to the thief, right? Learn the spell, turn the page. Okay. <laughs> right? Will teach you Was a little dark. Incantation to open almost any lock. First, we'll learn the spell's incantation. Hmm. Try that picture of some keys. Use your wand to get it going. Alohomora. Hello, Hamora. Lock doors with just a wave of the wand. Speak the incantation. Oh, sorry. Hello, Hamora. I was nice too early. Nice and clearly now. Three, two, one. Hello, Hamora. Excellent pronunciation. Oh well, thank you, sir. I've had a lot of practice over the years. You don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's learn the gesture. Pull the diagram up from the page. Maybe this one's an A. Oh shoot, I did the same one. To unlock doors with just a wave of the wand, speak the incantation. Come on, let me skip. Alohomora. Let me skip. Let me skip. Let me skip. Let me skip. Three, two, one. Alohomora. You want Hermione? There you go. 
See, that time he didn't say excellent pronunciation. <laughs> excellent. Now let's learn the gesture. Pull the right diagram here. up from the page. Now the spell requires a nice oh, sharp wand move. Like a number four. Start at the bottom and go up, then diagonally down, and then across. It's like a number four. Make sure you make nice sharp movements. Oh wait, the move button. Well done. Now make the gesture once more, this time from memory. Uh-huh. Excellent. With this Let's spell go. cast, you don't need to do the gesture again. You just start flicking your wand towards locked objects to open them. Let's see what this spell can do. Oh, here we go, guys. Unlock here here we go. Unlocking charm at the little glint. Uh, at the little glint? Wasn't oh, this that. is super fun. Hmm, More like of this. Potion went wrong in there. Come on. Wait, why is it not? Oh, you picked up there a collectible. Go. You'll be rich at this rate. Oh, this is super fun. Come on, I want to get the one on the floor there. Flick it's like your wand towards any of those little glints you see. That shows where you can Why use the unlocking Why is that the one not working? There we go. That. Well done. That's the last of them. Okay, that one was cool. I like that one better than the other one. Information about this spell. Pull it up if you'd like to read it, I think or it was you can this just one? turn the page. Hey, David. Alohomora is needed Appreciate here. it, man. Its Glad to hear it. It's like a number four, starting from the bottom. Oh my gosh, why do I keep hitting the same ones? That's okay. This was fun. I want to do. I'll you do this one again. The gesture is a line straight up. Then the one, the one line like down straight down. Line. Finally, move across from left to right, like a number four. Oh, I have to cast it again? Okay, yeah. Now the spell, it's on screen. There we go. That's right. Hmm, smells like someone's potion went wrong in there. And then over here. Come on, you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Well done. That's the last of them. My, my. There's another extra okay, bit wait, of information so is it this on the spell. Pull it up if you'd like to read it, or you can just turn the page. Prior to the discovery of the unlocking charm, the most popular charm for the purpose was Portaberto, which usually splintered the oh, lock from the door. Oh, interesting. Portaberto. And occasionally left a smoking hole where the key should have been. Even this was a substantial improvement over Open Sesame, the previous most popular spell. Wait, that was a spell? Which saw doors open sesame and torn into firewood. You've mastered the unlocking charm. Try not to get into too much trouble with it. Turn the page when you're ready to move on. All right. Wand lighting charm. Oh, As before, loose. point Let's your one of the words, then pull them up from the page. This charm will light the end of your wand, providing illumination in darkness. The wand lighting charm is simple, but requires concentration. Take great care not to accidentally set your wand alight, as damage of this kind can be permanent. If in any doubt about your abilities, you would do better to buy <laughs> yourself a magic lantern. Wait, it's Lumos, right? Never really think about Lumos being a dangerous spell. But I guess if you don't if you're forget, not, that will go into the collectibles chapter in your spell book. If you don't cast oh, it correctly. Looks like another bit of extra information from Miranda Goshawk. Pull that new note up with your wand. Or you can just turn the page. Hey, Professor Spells. The discovery that wands themselves in, dude. could be lit occurred relatively recently in wizarding history, at the end of the 18th century. Among those who claimed to have invented this revolutionary spell was the German warlock Garvin Lugner, 
who insisted so much that lore he in this game, dude. As a side effect of his discovery of instant darkness powder. It transpired, however, that not only was Lugna lying about Lumos, his powder was only useful for slightly dimming the lights. Ah. The wand lighting charm was actually invented in 1772 by Levin Monk Stanley. An accomplished witch working in the Department of Mysteries, Levina wow. astonished her colleagues one day by lighting the tip of her wand to New store Lumos could damage her eyes. I mean, I guess if you like cast Prior it bright to enough. Discovery, all manner of magical lanterns, candles, and light creation spells had been used with varying degrees of success to penetrate darkness both natural and curse related. So without further ado, let's turn the page and learn to cast the spell. Let's do it. A pile of leaves. What a mess. Oh no, Just here we go again. With your hands. Oh, thank goodness it's working pretty consistently now. Oh, fascinating. There appears to be a hole in your book. I wonder <laughs> what? what's in there. I can't quite see the book. Oh, I'm just losing sight of the book. Um, Why? Not that far. What am I supposed to do? Oh, does Don't he want nervous. to see in the hole? Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. Let's go. The incantation to light one's wand is Lumos. Your turn. Try saying the incantation for this spell. Three, two, one, go. Lumos. Excellent pronunciation. Now you've mastered Thank the presentation. Thank you, sir. Yet again. Let's move on to looking at the spell's gesture. <laughs> I usually say Lumos, to be honest, but, uh. Lumos! Time to learn the wand gesture. Pull up the gesture diagram. Alright, I think. The gesture diagram. Oh, see that? Oh, my goodness. It'd be so much easier if I just lifted it up like this, guys, so then I know exactly which one I'm supposed to tap on. The gesture for Lumos is a nice, smooth, upwards loop. So Ooh, it's a loop okay. for Lumos. It can be tricky, this. Start going straight from left to right, then loop up and over, then carry on straight to the right. Nice. Let's see that gesture again, but drawn from memory this time. Well remembered. That's the way. Excellent. Let's move on and see what this spell can do. Once you've cast this spell, you just need to hold your wand wherever you need light. Simple as that. I cast Lumos. That's if I cool. Were you. Press triangle if you need a hint. Okay, here we go. Excellent. That's right. Use your wand light to search around the room. There's bound to be something to find. Well done. I was wondering what that was. More objects to go. Keep it up. I can hear something moving around in here. Well, I don't really see it. It's a pot not... scheme. How did that get in here? I think that it's glitching out. The perfect wizarding pet. There's more to find. Keep looking. It's so dark. It's not really giving us any light. More objects to go. Keep it up. Maybe the books over here. Keep searching. Come on. Excellent. Oh, right That's there. The last of them. There we go. Dude, we definitely need more light. What in the world? You've learned to produce light. <laughs> Another crucial spell for wizards. Turn the page for a practice exercise. Turn the page. All right. Oh, you think it's too close, Zerua? Like, I, I should have backed back up a bit oh Miranda certainly wants to put you through your paces use your wand to pull up the text from the page by now you should be getting the hang of spell casting but it's important to practice the wand lighting charm to ensure that you've mastered it okay 
once again, your spellbook will now conjure somewhere for you to practice your powers of illumination. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. <laughs> uh, it's called Wonderbook Book of Spells, Professor Spells. <laughs> hmm, not a very friendly looking forest. All right, so first we got to cast the spell. Oh, not yet. Marlin's beard, a devil snare. These predatory plants thrive in the dark, but can be driven back by light. That devil snare looks eager to rip your spellbook to pieces. Cast Lumos to ward it off. Using Lumos is vital here. Cast the spell. Okay, let me. Ah, yes. Put that predatory plant in the spotlight. Oh, yeah. Now it's working. Oh, wait. On the Lovely. book first, maybe? I have faith in you. Keep at it. Man, it's pretty cool how it responds to, like, the depth and everything. Like, how close I am. That devil snare didn't know what hit it. Wonderful wand work. Hey, sounds good, King Tut. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a good one. Congratulations! You've mastered Lumos. And to prove it, here's your certificate. Here we are. Let's see how you did. Woo! And there you are, captured in all your magical spellcasting glory. The book's unscathed. Hey, 15 After points this time. Let's go. You've earned 15 house points. Come on, I want to start casting more By like now, this. You should be getting the hang of spell casting, but it's important to practice the wand lighting charm to ensure that you've mastered it. Okay. Once again, your spell book will now conjure somewhere for you to practice your powers of illumination. Wait, is it repeating what we just I hope did? You're not afraid of the it dark. is. Dang it. I don't want to do that again, though. No. What? I don't even know what mm, I pushed not a very to make it trigger again. <sighs> I know I could probably press circle to Merlin's back beard. out of it, but a devil snare. These predatory plants thrive in the dark, but can be driven back by light. That devil snare looks eager to rip your spellbook to pieces. Cast Lumos to ward it off. Shine the light from your wand to send the plant packing. Predatory plant in the spotlight. Ooh, lovely. Keep it up. I don't know why this one over here. There we go. Keep going. Devil Snare didn't know what hit it. Wonderful wand work. Hey, Professor Spells. Yeah, the Lego ones. Those are pretty fun. Alright, so what did we... Okay, so practice. Wand technique. Yeah, I, I think we're good to turn the page, right? Chapter test. How do I do the test? Your first test. I know you'll make me proud. Pull up the glowing text on the page to begin. Oh, we've got to remember all of them. Okay, hold on. Let's review the symbols really quick. So the ones like the J, the four. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to remember all of those. Well done. You've nearly completed the first chapter of the Book of Spells. Now you'll need each of your new spells to pass a final test. Let's see, Aguamenti was the, a series of puzzles, and finally the wave by looking one. A dangerous magical creature. Pass the test, and you will win the first of my conundrum poems, and will have taken your first step towards wizarding greatness. Conundrum poems? 
Yeah, Callum, I enjoy Lumos is pretty good. What's this? Some kind of fountain? It looks pretty dry though. Let's try filling it with water. Okay, we need Agua Minty then, right? That's it. Now point your wand and hold the T button. Oh, this is it's crazy. Not full yet. Get some more water into the fountain. This is crazy. Merlin's beard. <gasps> it was a trick. We've released a kelpie. A shape changing water. The heck? Is very dangerous. The only way to tame a kelpie is to get a bridle over its head like a horse. Miranda set you quite a task. First, we'll need to find something to bridle it with, like a bit of rope. You know this place is strangely familiar. I think we're in Scotland. I recognize that law. Dude, that looks like some Hogwarts legacy ruins. Ah, and here's another kind of lock. Okay, that's this the four, four right? In our way. Remember, in this test, you'll need all the spells you've learned so far. What spell could help us open up the gate? You unlocked. Let's go. Hmm. The gate seems to be broken, and we can't get through to fix it. Hmm. See those cogs all over the floor? Oh, Try lifting them nice, up and nice. putting them back in place on the wall. Okay. A good chance to show off one of your spells. We still need to fix the gate mechanism. Which one of your spells could lift up those cogs and put them back? Oh, that's the way. Excellent work. That's got it, but where does it fit? Carefully Right now. there. Careful now. And then last one. Come on. Excellent. Where does this cog need to go? Right there. Carefully now. That's it. One more to go. One more. Wait, I don't see the last one. One more to go? Um... I don't see it, guys. It's so dark right now. It's got to be over here. Where the icon's, like, blocking it or something, maybe? Just above the symbol, somewhere in here. Good. Levitate the Oh, cog. jeez. Now, where does it need to go? Dude, oh, thanks, chat. I would have never found that. <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. Well done. I still, I didn't even see it when I was actually picking it up. Right. What's next? Remember. All right, if let's go. To take on that kelpie, we'll need a rope <clears throat> or a bridle. Miranda Goshawk certainly doesn't mess about. Okay, we gotta this unlock a few more things. Days, that's for sure. Be ready for anything. Ah, there you are. I bet this next challenge has something to do with these locked chests. Come on. There we go. Galloping gargoyles. <laughs> Odd place for bats to sleep. Still, you've got the right idea. Try the other chest. I did. Oh no, we need uh we need Lumos now. Oh, remember your Lumos spell. Shoot, what it's was like it? An upwards loop, left to right. Push it back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> yes, great one one. Bravo. You've almost got it. I know you can do this. Oh, nice. Oh, careful. I can't see your spell book. Oh, don't even. There we go. I, I didn't even move the spell book, man. Careful. I can't see your spell book. I think you sent it packing. I know you can do this. Oh, come on. Wait, no, what? Oh, there goes the bridle. We better follow it. Where's this test going to take us next? The lock. Wand out, I think. 
That Kelpie could be anywhere. Be ready. I have a feeling this is the final part of the test. Oh no. Wonder what spell we're gonna need, guys. There it is. So Whoa. To this beast, we need to get the bridle over its head. I think you probably use your levitation charm. Yeah. Going swimming is not a good idea. That's it. Now point at the bridle down there and levitate it up. There he is. There oh, it looks like the beast recognizes the bridle. Best wait for it to settle. Oh, you need to be faster than that, I'm afraid. Pick what? up the bridle and try again. What He's are you gone. talking about? Stay alert now. Oh, maybe I have to drop it on his head. There he is. This beast isn't going to cooperate. Ooh, careful. Pick up the bridle again. Oh, come on. Pick the bridle up again. It's the only thing that can tame the Kelpie. Watch out. He's a tricky one. I don't know if I'm supposed to let it go on him or just, like, snap it down on his head. Watch out. That time letting go likes the look of the didn't bridle. work. Wait for it to settle down. Now's your chance. Move the bridle close and release the T button. Release. That's it. Lovely bit of levitation. Nice. There we go. Even with the bridle, he's a spirited. GG, thank you for stopping by. Have a good one. You've clearly mastered this chapter. Damia. I couldn't be more proud. Have a good one. Appreciate you stopping by. Your first chapter test Woo! passed. What we an did achievement. it. And here's your prize. Miranda Goshawk's conundrum. Look at the name of the trophy, too. Teach us something, please. <laughs> Love it. Oh, we get a little Where song little here. Isadora Rose, a sweet young witch. Isadora a nose was bought a wand. She thought it grand. It shone so brightly in her hand. Now here's an end to all my woes. The charming girl told friends and foes. I'll never ever have a good one, Mary. Work. In truth, she always liked to shirk. If anybody makes me cross, my wand will show them who is boss. And if they go and treat me worse, I'll fix them with a single curse. And everything I want, I'll get with this, my darling little pet. With that, she waved her brand new wand and turned her black hair brassy blonde. But as the days and weeks went by, that lazy girl refused to try to master new spells. Truth to tell, she didn't do the old ones well. Her hair turned blonde, but then fell out. Her curses never had much clout. Her wand began to wilt, poor thing, as boredom took away its zing. And naturally, she blamed the wand and threw it in the old duck pond. But you know better. You can see what caused her mediocrity. What must you do, which she did not? What must you do, and do a lot? Answer this, and do it loads. Oh no. I will turn you all to toads. The tale of once you learn all the spells contained in this book, you should be able to puzzle out the answer. Oh, interesting. Here's your certificate recording your progress. Pull it up from the book to have a look. Brilliant work on that test. You're well on your way. Take 10 house points. 10, come on. I wonder if you could get 15, like if I had gotten the... Could I actually have done better on that? I think you could. Because it did take me an extra time to get the bridle. Maybe that's why. If you finished admiring your handiwork, press the circle button. Okay. That's it. You finished chapter Can't turn one the page. of the book of spells. Now you can start chapter two, three, or four. It's up. Oh, you can jump to any chapter now. Remember, just point your wand at the book. Then pull the T button to choose what to do next. Now you're free to take on chapters two, three, and four. All right, in chat. Any order. 
I'll Remember, let you guys pick you the next one. You need to complete one. part one and part two of each chapter before you can start a So test. we've got what and looks like... Don't forget to visit okay, the collectibles on. chapter to see what you've picked up so far. Collectibles chapter? Is that that one? The conundrum chapter? Nope, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, good. We can just go back right here. The conundrum chapter, like, that's what you do at the very end, I'm guessing. Oh, is that the collectibles? That's the collectibles chapter. Okay. So how do we see what's in here? In the collectibles chapter? On this page, you can inspect your wand, learn about your house, and find out a bit about our author. Turn the pages of this chapter to have a look at all the collectibles you found so far. Let's see what this one says here. I was born into a poor family, the last of nine sisters. When I was a youngster, there was no basic spell book to give a beginner witch like myself the clear and simple instructions. Callum says chapter two. Made magic Noah a says much three. Less mysterious process. I'll let you guys look at the pictures here. I struggle to understand the complicated instructions in the old fashioned textbooks I was given at school. Back at home, I was at the mercy of my older sister's mischievous attempts to give me the wrong incantation for every spell I attempted. Hand me down robes are merely embarrassing. Hand me down spells Wait, can be dangerous. Is this the thing we already heard? I think this is the thing when we I already heard. Up, I quickly realized that the help I had craved simply yep. did not exist. We did hear and this. So I created the book you are holding now. The book of spells. And has yeah, I remember we can skip this way. I will. <laughs> oh, wait, if I just press circle. But Romilda's tail has vanished now, and we're all friends again. There we go. I got to remember that. Okay, so we don't need to read about our house. We don't need to read about the wand. I do want to see what collectibles we have so far, though. Chapter 1 Collectibles. A lock? Okay, so that one's locked. Wait, do I need to cast Alohomora on it? <laughs> oh, the puff skein. Particularly beloved of wizarding children, puff skeins are fluffy, easygoing creatures which emit a humming noise when contented and extend their long tongues in search of bogeys. <gasps> Oh, man. All right, go away. Circle. There's got to be a better... Oh, wait, maybe this. Yeah, that's what cycles through here. Okay. Puff skeins, goblet. Yeah, I don't need to look at these collectibles, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to close this. Right, let's crack on. All right, go back here. I'm going to be honest, my arm's kind of getting a little tired. I can see why you wouldn't want to play the whole thing in, in one sitting. All right, I think I saw more Chapter 2, so let's just go. We'll just go chapter into Chapter 2, two here one. with the Sphinx. Hey, JZT. Welcome in, dude. Callum says, try Alohomora on any locks you find. Oh, so it should have should have worked back there? I was trying. Rin seems to be a lot of content. Yeah, I mean, more than I was expecting. I mean, I guess for all that you had to buy back in the day to get it working, they wanted to make sure they included You've made great progress. a decent bit. Time for chapter <clears throat> two. Remember, you don't read this spell book like a muggle book. Point your wand at the glowing words, then pull the T button to start reading. 
It's time to move on to more complex magic. In this chapter, nice. we will cover a range of challenging and at times dangerous Oh, danger. Spells. I bet it's going to be Incendio. Keep your wits at about least one you of them. in this chapter, and soon you'll master new magical skills from revealing invisible ink or conjuring flocks of birds from your wand to the art of magical fire making. I knew it. I called Turn the page it. To learn the first spell in this chapter. Magical fire making. Bombarda, yeah, that, that'll probably be one as well. Oh, come on. The fire, fire making, making spell. spell. Let's well, go. Let's learn a bit about the spell, then you can try casting it. Remember, you need to use your wand to read. Point at the glowing words. Incendio. Hold the button and pull the words up off. From lighting a warm hearth to igniting. Sports a champions. Pudding. Yes, Fire new store. That was one of the other move the games. Household. However, the ability to produce fire with the flick of a wand can be dangerous to your fellow students and worse, your books. A pair of dragon hide gloves is therefore recommended for this oh. lesson. Okay, let's put the gloves on. More careless students might also like to brush up on any hair. Mia, welcome in. Mrs. Rackentour, welcome in. Can we actually put the gloves on? That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that. Another collectible. We did get a There's bubblehead a charm earlier. Pull up the glowing words on the page to find out what it is. Okay, so we definitely did that one first. Oh, here we go. Story Ready time, guys. Reading the story? Uh, yeah, let's read it. Oh, of course. Spectacular though it is, students are warned that irresponsible use of the fire-making spell can have serious consequences. Take one ill-fated performance of Malachry's classic wizarding play, Alas, I Have Transfigured My Feet. History does not record the names of the actors, which is perhaps for the best, since by halfway through the first act, the audience had taken to throwing, Looks like your spellbook is testing Pumpkins. you again. What do you think the audience threw at the actors? Point at one of the tabs, hold the T button, and slide it out. I hope oh, not yes. cauldrons. The audience had taken <laughs> to throwing pumpkins. Undeterred, the actor playing Capo began the famous foot transfiguration scene. By this time... <laughs> The special effects wizard hidden under the stage was apparently as bored as the audience. And decided to replace the traditional puff of yellow smoke with a huge eruption of... What do you think he conjured up? That definitely wasn't right. Oh, come on. That would have been hilarious. If it wasn't frogs. Oh, yes! A huge eruption of fire from his wand! The audience were suitably impressed, and their cheering only increased when the curtains caught a light. And the effects wizard began vainly trying to put out the flames while dodging hexes from the play's director. With the rest of the cast fleeing in panic, the actor playing Capo took this as his moment to shine. Casting a... Now what spell would you cast for your big moment in a burning theatre? Casting a flame-freezing charm, he began the play's rousing final speech. Protected from the fire, now engulfing the stage. Unfortunately, his no doubt stirring delivery was lost in the confusion as the audience abandoned the theater. And the ill-prepared effects wizard tried desperately to remember the flame-freezing charm for himself. Show off young students should take heed. Cast your fire-making spell with care. <laughs> you think?
All right, well, let's learn. Well, learned a little about its dangers. Are you eager to try the fire-making spell for yourself? Oh, of course. Oh, our vandal has scribbled all over your book again. They've probably left you some nasty magical surprise. Ah, go on then. Point right your wand at the here. scribble and pull it up. What's this? Our student scribbler has enchanted this illustration. Dude, my I really think my kids would be blown away by this game. To be Merlin's honest with you. Beard, a paper dragon. This spell book is packed full of surprises, alright. Oh, I need Augmenti. Perhaps one of the spells you've learned so far can put out the fire. Wait, is that right? No, that's that's uh Oh wait, I forgot it. What was it? Fortunately, your book is enchanted to make fire harmless. So you can just wave your hands Not over the, the page four. to put out the flames. You'll be fine. No, I want to I want to do the spell. Oh wait, it was this. There we go. You do realize this book is school property. Wave your hands over the book. That's right. There's still some soot on there. Clear it all up with your hands, or the school librarian will never let me hear the end of it. There's still some soot on there. Clear it all up with oh, your hands, on. or the school librarian will never let me hear the end of it. Good as new. Fortunately, your book is protected by powerful enchantments for exactly this reason. Very good, now, very good. Now, if you've good. quite finished fooling around... Now you know all about fire making, time to try casting it. Turn the page when you're ready to learn how to cast the spell. Man, by the end, it's going to be hard to remember all of the... I'm already forgetting. Time to learn to cast the which spell. Which one's which? Oh, come on. Wake up. Why is it not responding? Try your unlocking charm here. Un the gesture is like a number four. What? Remember to start from the bottom. I don't even see a lock. Up, then down and left, then across to the right. Oh, wait, it didn't work. That's it. Now, just flick your wand sharply down towards the book to cast. So Come on, it at least needs a lock on there. Oh, here we go. This is kind of cool. I love this. Incendio! The incantation to produce fire from your wand is Incendio. Clear your mind, grip your wand firmly, and say it. Clear your mind. One, two, three. Incendio! Good. Oh, he didn't say excellent pronunciation that time. I'm disappointed in that. <laughs> now you're ready to learn the wand gesture for this spell. Pull up the gesture diagram from the page. The fire-making spell uses three movements. A straight line to the right, then diagonally down and left, then right again. Oh, so a, a Z, a okay. Z. Nice. Let's see that gesture again, but drawn from memory this time. Brilliant! You've created fire, a valuable skill for any wizard. Now, try flicking your wand forward to send out a rush of fire. That's it. You'll need to learn to flick fire accurately, so keep flicking until you've got the hang of it. Excellent. You're a dab hand at the fire making spell. Let's give your skills a real workout. Turn the page. All right. This one's going to be this little exercise should be really fun. If we're casting now fire, let's see you handle a more challenging task. Your spell book is going to conjure up a place for you to practice fire. Yes. Pull up the glowing picture to start practicing this spell. The glowing picture. It's got to be this one, right? It 
It's time to practice flicking fire from your wand. See how fast and accurate you can be with your spell casting. Okay. Oh, fire making spell. Wait, we already This is the one we already did, isn't it? Oh no, here we go. Come on, get that thing. Here we go. Whoa, I'm way down here, guys. <laughs> I'm way the down place here. Is full of creatures. These paper pests can be a real nuisance, so make sure you get rid of them all with your fire making spell. Use your fire flicking technique to burn away all the paper creatures. I'll be giving out house points depending on how fast and accurate you are in this. Fast game. and accurate? Ah, oh man. Creepy crawlies. Get rid of them. Excellent. Well done. Now, aim carefully and see how many you can get rid of. Oh, you're really getting the hang of it. That was quick, man. Come on. Ah, butterflies. Remember, this is just bewitched paper. Don't let me catch you trying this spell on the real thing. First try on all of them? All right, so far so good. Oh, there's one more. That took that took a little too long for me to find him, but a fire-breathing paper dragon. Dude, this is Seems a bit <laughs> This is fun. This is pretty epic right here. Okay, ready. Oh no, we missed him. Try flicking your fire when the dragon's to your left. When he's to my left? So like He must take multiple hits. Wonderful. Please try not to hit classroom furniture. It's expensive to There we go. Place. Got him. Spectacular. You earned 15 house points. 15 that time? Okay, good. I think that's the maximum. Here we are. Let's see how you did. Here's a wizarding photograph as a memento. There you are. Oh, casting yeah. the fire making spell <laughs> like an old hand. Well done. Superb show of wand work. 15 house points. 15 house points. Does anybody know if this has a platinum trophy or not? Did you guys happen to see? Impressive work. Did anybody look it ready? up? Turn the page to move on to the next spell. Mrs. Rackentor. Yeah, you you would enjoy this one probably. I think the boys would love this. Oh, the bird conjuring charm. This charm is one of my favorites. Pull up the glowing text Ooh. to read what our esteemed What is the incantation for this? Avaforce? The bird conjuring charm conjures a small flock of birds from the end of the wand. It's important to remember that your conjured creatures are not real animals. The more accomplished you become at the spells that create them, the more real the animals will appear. Hmm. But you will be disappointed if you try to keep your creations. Oh yeah, I've been uh, I've been drinking, they guys. Are mere <laughs> phantoms of your own making. When you can't see me like this. When I've been hidden behind the books. New information from Miranda. Pull it up to read it or just turn the page if you want to get casting the spell. Okay, so this is the story right here. Of course, creating any living creature out of thin air is immensely difficult. This spellbook is concerned with practical instruction and not with theory. But your teacher will be able to explain the principle of artificianimate quasi dominance. What? Ex artificianimate? Excuse me? Many things that can go wrong. <laughs> When it does have a platinum. Oh my goodness, that is epic! I have Seven to get it. Heads, unidentifiable stumps, terrifying frog rabbit mutations—all have been created to the dismay of those who. Made Whoa! Them, and the horror of those who found them hidden under cushions. Oh, that's However, crazy! It's actually 3D. 
research continues in the Department of Mysteries in the Ministry of Magic. I figured it would like glitch out and only show the front of him. Are much easier to create from nothing than any other. Oh, all you have to do is complete the story. So it's an easy plat. Look at that. That's crazy. There we are. Turn the page when you're ready to add another feather to your wizarding cap with a bird conjuring charm. Let's do it. On this page, we'll cover the wand gesture and incantation for bird conjuring. You need to learn the magic words for the spell. Point at the glowing words with your wand, then pull the T button. Avis, okay. To conjure birds Not from thin air, you must learn the correct incantation. Avis, ready? Say the incantation. One, two, three. Avis. Very nice. Oh, he just gave me a very nice. I'll take it. I'll Try take to it learn that the time. One gesture for this spell. Pull up the gesture diagram. One gesture over here. The bird conjuring charm calls for two smooth bumps from left to right with your wand. Be Dude, we're to never going to remember all from these. Your face. This spell can go off with quite a bang. Well done. I mean, it does Make look like a bird. Once more, this time from memory. You good? That's it. Well done. All right. Office. Wonderful conjuring. Take a moment to admire your spell work. Of course, you can't control the birds, not with this spell alone, but if you wave your arms, you can play with them. Oh, they've spotted a bug. Conjured birds will chase off creepy crawlies. Remember that for this chapter's test. It oh, may great. just come in handy. Now, if you stay there, remember still, that for the test. You'll find your new feathered friends are quite happy to come and sit on your book. If I stay very still, okay. Hello, guys. Oh, what beautiful plumage. Excellent work. The birds will disappear in their own time, or you can press the circle button. Be gone. Yeah, my arm does Let's get tired. I keep putting it on the rest over here. Aha, the Apugno Jinx. Oh, a pugno too? Let's go. Oh man, wonder if they're gonna like stack spells. Like we have to cast Avis and then a pugno on the birds. The Apugno Jinx. Since you seem to have discovered it, I suppose there's no harm telling you. This jinx causes your conjured birds to attack anything you flick your wand at. Oh, yeah. Come on, if you're going to try out this jinx, cast Avis to begin. I'm going to let you try the jinx this once, so try flicking your wand at that cat. Don't worry, your birds won't do him any harm. There you are. Your feathered friends have become a flock of fearful furies. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, you certainly turned the tables on this cat. That's it. I don't know why it doesn't actually have a visual for this one. Oh, honestly. Go on, then. Finish him off. That's it. He's off. Now, you won't be able to use a Pugno anywhere else. You might need to conjure birds in this chapter's test, but you won't need to control them. Well, okay. you seem to have mastered all aspects of bird conjuring. Remember, you won't be able to use a Pugno to control the birds anywhere but here. Now for part two of this anywhere chapter. Anywhere but here. Just Interesting. Just close the book to select part two. Close the book. Ready for the next part? Point your wand at chapter two, part two, 
and press the move button. All right, here we go. And this one's going to have the tests with it, I think, at the end. Oh, come on. Not this again. You can see it. <laughs> the, revealing the revealing charm. charm. This useful little charm will allow you to uncover messages hidden by other wizards. Oh, we so know how attention. useful this is. Anyone Ready who's played Hogwarts Legacy. The picture to read about the chapter. The you guys already charm know. Reveal invisible ink and messages hidden by magical means. This spell is able to overcome most basic concealment charms, so be warned. Any plans for you better tell us excellent pronunciation on this one. Be uncovered by wizarding parents and teachers alike. That was very revealing. Good work. Ah, oh, Miranda Goshawk has left us another tale about this spell. Pull those glowing words up off the page to hear the story. Oh, story time, guys. <laughs> We're going to hear another wondrous wizarding tale this time about the power of the revealing charm. Want to read the story? <laughs> Remember, you can always Excuse cancel me. the story anytime by holding Oh, I want to hear the story. Stories are some of the best parts, honestly. Many magical researchers use invisible ink to hide their work from rivals, so the revealing charm is essential to serious scholars. Famed arithmancer Bridget Wenlock was so protective of her discoveries that she wrote exclusively in Invisible Ink. Not to mention writing upside down, back to front, and in atrocious handwriting. Wenlock was famous for her absent-mindedness as well as her paranoia, and would often jot notes in Invisible Ink on... Oh, another... Ah, yes. She would often jot notes in Invisible Ink on scraps of paper. Oh no, are you talking about the uh Verdamilius? <laughs> she could frequently be seen retracing her steps through her hometown of Tinworth, attempting to use the revealing charm on every scrap of paper she came across in search of a lost arithmancy calculation. When Locke first scribbled down her groundbreaking theorem on the magical properties of the number seven at breakfast one day. Apparently, on the back of an envelope, using her usual invisible ink. She then proceeded to send her cousin a letter, using what she later believed to be the very envelope concealing the theorem. I was thinking, wait, did he get stuck? Realizing her mistake, <laughs> Wenlock seized her broom and managed to overtake the... Overtook what? Well, of course, she managed to overtake the owl carrying the letter in mid-flight. The pair engaged in a fierce mid-air tussle as Wenlock tried to recover the envelope. Post office owls take mail tampering very seriously and will refuse to give up their deliveries to anyone but the addressee. After suffering several nips and scratches, Wenlock resorted to following the owl to her cousin's house in John O'Groats. But after finally retrieving the envelope from her bemused Yes, she I should have said troll. Her cousin, <laughs> but her revealing charm revealed nothing but a cake recipe. Right, yeah, David. She does try it. Which she had jotted down that morning. She later found the real calculation scrawled on a sugar packet still sitting on her kitchen table. Why does this one take so long between... <laughs> it's like it takes an extra second to load there in this one it. or something. Now, are you ready to use the revealing charm to uncover some mysteries? Oh, we're ready. Own? I'm ready to say Turn it. Turn the page to learn to cast this charm and start... 
and I want to get a perfect score on this one. We'll learn the gesture and incantation to reveal things hidden by Oh, magic. do we need to unlock we'll it again? Oh no, first. right here. Pull Dude, look at that. On the page. Wait, hold on. You think that's a? Ooh, the unlocking charm. Come on. Straight down. You need your wand to read the book. Press circle to stop casting that spell, then pull up the glowing text. Oh, I thought that was something we unlock right there. Oh, no, wait, wait, what? What? The incantation to magically reveal hidden writing or markings is apparatus. It's not Revelio? The incantation allowed. Ready? One, oh, no. two, three. Operesium. Good, nice and loud. I don't think I've ever heard this spell. Did she try this one? Is this the one you were talking about, David? Did she Time try this on gesture? Or did she Pull try Revelio? The diagram. The gesture diagram. I still want to know what that is in the middle. Something is glowing right there. The wand gesture for the revealing charm is a loop and cross. Oh no. Loop your wand from right to left and back again. Looks a bit like a fish, doesn't it? Try drawing the shape now. This one, okay, gotcha. I do not well like done. that we have two now basically the, the exact same this just time from memory. Mirror images. Well remembered. That's it. Well, well done. no, I guess the other one's different. Now, whenever you see a little glint like that, it means there's something hidden by magic. Ah! Flip your wand towards the glint to try out the revealing charm. See? See, chat? I was on the right track. Oh, I had a feeling our esteemed author would have hidden a little something for you. Beware the Sphinx. It guards its secrets jealously. Sphinxes, eh? Perhaps Miranda is giving us a clue to this chapter's test. Ready to move on? You found everything. Yeah, let's move on. I bet you'll need this spell to find hidden clues in the test, so keep an eye out. Ready to move on? What do we have here? Ah, yes. Oh, engorgement. And shrinking charms. It's amazing how useful it can be to grow and shrink things with magic. Time yeah, that one looks like a fish. But that picture's become all overgrown. See if you can use your wand to shift those pumpkins out of the way. Wait, what? Engorgio. <laughs> the incantation to make things grow is Engorgio. Say it now. Three, two, one. Engorgio. Good. <laughs> Cracks me up that it actually wants you to say it. All right, we didn't actually read this one though over here. Reducio. To magically shrink things, speak the incantation Reducio. Say it clearly now. One, two, three. Reducio. Excellent. Well said. Okay, let's go over here now. These straightforward but surprisingly dangerous charms cause certain things to swell or shrink. You will be learning both charms together so that you can always undo an over-enthusiastic cast. Mm, okay. There is thus no excuse for having accidentally shrunk your homework down to microscopic size or for allowing a giant toad to rampage through your school's flower bed. Oh. Come on. Well done. You're building quite a collection of souvenirs. Okay, so then right, we already time to learn the gestures for these charms. Turn did the page we... to move we... on. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Oh no, you're good, David. I didn't <laughs> I didn't even see it, obviously. <laughs> until uh till after. Here we go. The wand movements for these spells are the same but upside down. 
We'll learn the engorgement charm first. Okay. Pull up the text with your wand to begin. To make things swell, draw an arrow shape pointing Interesting. Up. So like Engorgio is v. like the A. All right. Now you need to draw the gesture again. This time from memory. Ah, yes. That's it. That's one down. Right. Now the shrinking charm. So that one is like a V, right? Making things yep. shrink uses a wand gesture pointing down. So it's like a letter V. All right. Now you need to draw the gesture again, this time from memory. Ah, yes. That's it. Just like in Gorgio, you point at an object and hold the T button to make it shrink. Oh, the book's given you a pumpkin to practice on. Start off by shrinking it. First, try shrinking that pumpkin using the shrinking charm. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's tiny. Now let me see you using Gorgio to make it massive. Okay, so we need... Right, you cast the spell. Now point your wand at the puck. Good, but you can make it bigger. <laughs> oh, wow. Keep engorging it. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> that's a good sized pumpkin anyway. Just right for Halloween feasts. Well done. I love that you can still see me in the background these charms in the chapter test. when so it jumps. Remember them. Remember them? We're going to try. Your dab hand at shrinking and engorging. Turn the page now to practice these spells. Okay. Getting close to the end, so almost to the chapter test. I think we'll have our practice, and then I think it's the test. Right, you'll need to engorge and shrink things to pass this chapter's final test. So let's practice. Pull up that illustration with your wand to st You'll now have a chance to practice the engorgement and shrinking charms on some creatures. Don't worry, it won't do them any harm. With that said, it is not advisable to practice engorging or shrinking your own pets for homework practice. At least not until you're certain that you can reverse the effects. This might be the gnome one. Yes, I think this... This sounds like music for gnomes. Oh, someone's gone wild with engorgement and shrinking charms in here. You'll be using your two new spells to return <laughs> things to their normal sizes. And it looks like this place has a gnome infestation. See that round rolled up thing? That is a gnarl. But it's too small to chase off the gnome. Oh, Try too small. It. So we need to engorge. Nicely done. This thing over here. Careful! Don't oh, enlarge. Oh, not the you. Gnome. No. <gasps> engorge that tiny knot. Even things out. There we go. Well done. <laughs> Gnarls might look like muggle hedgehogs, but they're fierce enough to fight off a gnome. Another gnarl and gnome, equally sized, so neither's giving an inch. Oh my goodness, Shrink this one's huge. The scales. Okay, wait, so we're already on that one? Get out That's of here. It. That gnome's not happy, but the gnarls were Samantha, you want the game? These huge gnomes <laughs> so are bad. The four gnarls around. Shrink the gnomes and engorge the gnarls. To Sheesh, the they're huge. Okay, now I need to... Oh, can I not shrink them even further? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, now... Good. Let's engorge you. You. There's nothing worse than a bully. Shrink the gnomes down to size and use Engorgio to give the gnarls a bit of a boost. Nope, don't want to get the gnome too.
There we go. Now they're large enough. <laughs> well done. You've mastered magical engorgement and shrinking. Two helpful wizarding abilities. Should be time. I think it's time for the test. Let's see. Pick on someone your own size for another trophy. Let's go. Let's see here. All right. There's our little note. Well, there you are, engorging and shrinking like an old. Oh come hat. on! Well done. I'm giving you ten house points for that. Should have been fifteen, buddy. All right, so I think we page. yeah. You're ready to begin the chapter test. Yes. All right. I definitely let's let's review the. Let's see if they it's show me the this chapter's yep. test. Remember, you'll need all of the four spells Okay, the Z learned. was incendio. Take a moment to make sure you remember them, then pull up the words on the page to begin the test. That's incendio. Oh, the fire making spell. All right, and then the M was like for a uh, You won't be able Obvious. to read the book while you've got a spell cast. So press circle what was this one right spell. here? Then pull up the glowing text with your wand. Oh no! Wait, no, no! Cancel that. This right here. What was the fish? Oh, the revealing charm. Revealing. Okay. All right. So shrinking and engorging. I feel like that one's pretty simple right, to first, remember. You need to stop the spell by pressing the circle button. Z for incendio. The M for the birds. And then what's that one? Again? Revealing. Okay. That's definitely the one that I'm going to forget, is the revealing. Fish reveal. Fish reveal. Just remember in that. In this chapter, we've learned to create fire, reveal invisible ink, conjure Arguing birds, with the, and the change narration. the size of things. Come on. Now it's time to give your skills a real test, in a place where only Gringotts curse breakers have oh, trod before. No way! Gringotts! You'll need each of your new spells Let's go! Good luck. Tread carefully, and remember, it is imprudent to annoy a sphinx. All right, how do we do Merlin's it, Merlin's beard. A sphinx. Remember what Miranda said. These cunning creatures delight in puzzles and mysteries. I bet look at this, look at this, look at this. puzzle around here. Can you find it? Hello, sir. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Okay, we need now the revealing. What did you learn that reveals hidden things? Excellent. And then we'll cast it right down there. Well revealed. Now let's see what this cryptic cat has to say for itself. Three trials you must pass to prove your worth. Well, that was cheery. Rare creatures, sphinxes, and terribly dangerous. Kaylee, welcome in. Oh, this must be the first. Appreciate of the you trials. stopping by. I wonder what's needed here. Well, you could start by finding a way to chase those creepy crawlies off this poor chap. Okay, hold on. That would have been the birds, right? Ah, yes. Abbas, good thinking. Those birds will chase off the bugs. Now what? <laughs> Look at that. It seems Feathers here just wanted a few friends. I think you've passed your first trial. Kaylee, it's been much better ah, than I was expecting. Be number two. I'll say that. It looks like a torch bearer. It's not something it's I would want to play for like four hours, you know? But I bet we can do something about that. Oh, what do you say? Torch? Okay. What spell could you use on a torch bearer? Wait, what am I missing? Looks like we have to reveal something first, maybe. Don't press the move button. You've got the right spell already. Oh. I think this fellow needs some fire, don't you? Do you remember the spell? It did reveal something. What does this one say? 
You need to heat things up here. Okay, what are we missing, guys? I think it's just the angle then. That's it. Light them both. Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. There's something that we can't see up there. Whoa. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try. <laughs> well done. Three trials. What else have we been it? missing? What's next, I wonder? Now I see why they want you to hold the book on the floor. Oh, come on. You can see that. Nearly there. Trial number three looks straightforward. My guess is you need to make things a bit more balanced. Oh, okay. So hold on. That one is kind of large. All right. That one's small. So let's engorgio on this guy. Why is it not working? Maybe we need to shrink this Don't one too. The You've got the right spell already. Oh, you be quiet. You need to use one of your spells to balance things. Oh, out. are you serious? I can't actually make him smaller? Well, that's just not fair. <laughs> that's just not fair. That's done it. My goodness. Looks like this trial was a trap. There we go. Looks like that monster got away for now. Just brush that sand away. Let's see if he's burrowed into your book. Steady now. My word. A sandstorm. Quick, hold your breath. Oh, here we go, guys. Wait, what spell do we need? Where on earth have we ended up? I can just see some torches. As Let long as it doesn't so start we are. pulling spells from other Nicely done. chapters, Excellent. we'll That's be good. First. Now, like the second. Uh, where's the second? Over here. Keep trying. Mist. Merlin's there it beard. is. An ancient Egyptian tomb. What's that noise? Yeah, see, I was thinking Lumos at first, too. More scorpions. Find a way to get rid of them before they get too close. Good. Make it even smaller. Keep going, shrink it more. Make it even smaller. <laughs> I love how once they get too small, they just panic and run away. And then Excellent. some you make so too small, small so they fall through. through the yeah, exactly. Excellent shrinking. Let <laughs> gravity do the rest, eh? That's the last of them. I think you're in the wait. What's Whoa! That noise? Leaping leprechauns. That monster's back. It's too heavy. Watch out! Guys, he's got me! Watch out! He's got me! Merlin's beard, where are we now? Heavens, here's that monster-sized scorpion again. You better cut this overgrown arthropod down to size quick. Well remembered, you better cut this overgrown arthropod. That's it, it won't get any smaller. <laughs> okay. Now what? He said it won't get any smaller. Why is he still here? Try the fire-making spell to get rid of that scorpion once and for all. Oh, okay. The gesture is like a letter Z. Well, that's one way to snuff out a paper scorpion. Burn it! Don't worry, it was only Burn something conjured by your book, after all. <laughs> There's the Sphinx again. We must be in his inner sanctum. Ah, let's see. You must solve three final riddles to prove your worth. Show me your wits are as sharp as your wand work, and you will receive your reward. You have proven that your magic is powerful. 
but a wizard or witch must master more than jinxes and charms. Mm, Leaping okay. leprechauns. The place is filling with sand. You'd better answer these puzzles and fast. All right, where are they? What? Oh no, I see it now. I think. No need to press the move button. That's the right spell. I was on the right spell. Well, that wasn't it. Try something else. I'm if so confused. You spell burn. It will make a pyre of pyramid. Hurry up! That sand will bury us soon. Superb. That's one puzzle passed. What's next? What? I thought he was gonna like present me with riddles or something. <laughs> okay, I got it now. We have to be looking at each of these things. Uh, maybe this one? Oh, it didn't work. Yes. Come on. You oh, wait. You don't need to flick this spell. Yep. Aim your wand, then pull the T button. Excellently done. Ah, you've reached the final I see the puzzle. last one, the revealing. But where is it? That slippery sphinx must have hidden it again. Use Apparesium to reveal it. <laughs> that one we flick. Did it not hit? The final clue. Oh, there we go. You've proven yourself with spells, but in this test, what has been a better friend than any charm or jinx or hex? I think it means what you used more in the test, your head or your heart. Point I mean, your wand, our head for sure. Spectacular. You used your head, of course. Are you ready to claim your prize? Wand at the ready. Whew, back again. Now, let's have a peek at this chapter's conundrum. If you've a ready mind. Oh, here we go. Miranda's this back. came from Hogwarts, and oh, Douglas was so pleased. He would have read the whole thing, but a boil needed squeezed. He would have packed his trunk himself, but thought he'd seen a fly doing loops and backward flip-flops. It wasn't. Nice try. He liked the thought of lessons, yes, but Douglas didn't see why you had to pay attention and not try to jinx your knee. And tentacles were funny in a tickly kind of way. So why the teacher roared at him, he really couldn't say. It was, pay attention, Douglas, every single place he went. But Douglas didn't want to, and so letters home were sent. And his father wrote him strictly saying, Douglas, now be warned. You must finish things you... Douglas put the letter down and yawned. Douglas liked to be distracted because he found it much more fun. His homework was abandoned and his spells and charms half done. He never really noticed just how far he'd slipped behind. But then someone dared poor Douglas to perform a jinx, not kind. It went so badly wrong that it is nicer not to dwell on Dougie's second nose or on the mess or on the Oh, side. my. And nobody could ever say how Douglas came to be entrapped inside that drain pipe with a teacup for a knee. What was it that he didn't want to do, the silly lad? Answer me and do it, and you'll make your teachers glad. Some of these are kind of off the wall. But again, I get we're just getting little pieces of it. So we're not going to fully understand all of it until the end. That's how it sounds. Here's your certificate recording your progress. Pull it up from the book to have a look. Let's see it. You've really mastered those spells. 15 house points. Boom. Perfect. That's it. You finished the chapter. Close the book and choose another chapter. Close the book. You're ready to move on. To get All the right, chapter menu, here. just point your wand at that glow on the cover and pull the T button. 
Which All right, for those of you who have played the game, what is what is chapter, chapter five? Four, is that like a final exam five. or something? Because this one right here, the con actually wait, the conundrum chapter. So there's, we've done chapter one, we've done chapter two. There's also Making three, four, Remember, five is locked, the with your wand, and then you have then one called the, the conundrum on. chapter, and then of course the collectibles chapter. Linus, you never finished it? No way. Chapter five? Don't forget to visit the conundrum chapter. OWLs? Maybe. And I guess the conundrum chapter is when we solve the, the final puzzle once we've done all of these. Making your mind up? Remember, point at the right part of the chapter with your wand, then press the move button. Yeah. You only played like 30 minutes of it, Linus? No way. Well, honestly, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, honestly, Don't because my hand is so tired. <laughs> to have a look at all the stuff you've this collected. is not a game I feel like you could play for multiple hours at a time. Ooh, so I, can't see your spell I think I'm going to call it there for today. But um, appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you hanging out. Keep an eye over on the Twitter and What's next? Discord and everything, uh, because right next week might be at a different time, too. Button. I'm not sure exactly what I've got going on next week, but I know for sure I have a meeting next Tuesday, and then i got to figure out what's going on with the kids that day, too. So Remember, to see more options, just point at that oh, I could pull up the normal press the camera, move button. couldn't I, right now? There we go. Look how much lower I am, because I had to lower my seat to uh, <laughs> oh, to be able to fit it. How are you? Hey, hey Dylan. Uh, point at the appreciate right it, man. The chapter with your wand, then press the move appreciate that. Dylan gifting out five memberships over on YouTube. Appreciate that, Dylan. Very kind of you. Guys, if you got one of those gifteds, make sure you thank Dylan there. Enjoy your you? emotes. And also, make sure you check out our recent members-only videos that we post. You'll, you'll have access to all of those now. Wait, all unsaved progress is lost. I'm pretty sure it auto-saves, so... I think, right? I don't see a spot to save, so... I'm just going to exit to main menu. Button. Just so he'll stop shouting at me to make up my mind. Whoa, that's kind of trippy. Let's switch this back. <laughs> Wait, why is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Dude, the, my pictures look almost exactly the same, and I took them on separate days. I have to remember, it's the my new game is the one with the wand. It's the one where you can actually see the wand. Does it not give you... Oh, wait, there it gives you the progress. Yeah, so April 16th versus April 15th, which was yesterday when I was testing it out a bit. Not sure if there are missable trophies. I should restart the chapter. Uh, What do you mean, Muse Store? I should restart the chapter right now. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at the trophies. I had no idea this game had a platinum, so I'll do that this afternoon to see, to make sure we get the platinum trophy. <laughs> this could be a fun one to do. But yeah, man, uh, appreciate you guys who watched over on Twitch today. Appreciate everybody here on YouTube as well. I'll check uh, I'll check the stats and everything, see if, we, uh, if we're going to keep doing this. But hey, it seemed like you guys were... Uh, enjoying it being in both places it gives you multiple places to watch and several of you hopped over to twitch and used your prime sub which i always appreciate if you guys didn't know if you have amazon prime you can subscribe to us over on twitch completely for free no charge to you so really nice uh easy way to help out the stream and the the channel if you guys have an amazon prime account so you can just link it up with your uh twitch account but yeah, it's really nice that we can stream in both places. So I'm kind of curious to to dive into the numbers, see how many, uh, if we if we had like a drop off from YouTube of like more people watching on Twitch, 
or if we had the same amount of YouTube plus a, some additional ones on, uh, cause I see a lot of you chatting in both, in both sides. So Ren, thanks for keeping me entertained at work today. So bored. Hey, well, Ren, thank you for hooking us up with the book again, guys. Shout out to Ren who sent us the copy of book of spells right there. Never open. Appreciate it, man. Well, hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your week. Thank you all so much for the support hanging out today. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys.